lost what I was saying. Dave, this fish? Dave, yeah. the fish over here? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Dave, maybe you, maybe you kids want to take a time out. <laughs> Hey, we're back with Jungle Jack Hanna. He's been a friend of the show for many years. Now, Jack, do you remember the first time you were on the show? Oh, yeah. Valentine's Day, 1985. It was an uh, incredible day. I'd never been to New York. Wow. Uh, being from Tennessee, uh, yeah. just uh, couldn't believe I was sitting there and uh, actually puked before I went home. Wow, just from being in New York? Well, <laughs> just from... <laughs> just that from, happens. Uh, huh? That'll happen to you. No, I'd never even seen the show. Yeah. But people said, you know, he's going to tear you apart and all this kind of stuff. So I didn't pay any attention. The crow got loose. Yeah. Couldn't catch him for almost a day. The girl that was singing, I don't remember her name, she wouldn't come out because the crow was loose. Barbara Streisand, probably. It probably was her. Yeah. But um, So if you, what, you hadn't seen the show, if you had seen the show, would you have done it? I don't know if I'd have done it. Yeah. No. But you're happy you did now after yeah, 15 years. Yeah, I really think he likes animals. You know, I hope some of the things I've haven't done there have caused him to have a heart problem. Do I don't you, know. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you know anything about animals or is that a big goof? Uh, have you ever worked with animals before? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I've been a director for a zoo for almost 30 years. Oh, really? Oh, but you know, Dave doesn't think I know anything about animals. Right. But you know something else? Because if his heart gets real bad, and right now they're working with baboon hearts. I know they are. And if he has Arnold Schwarzenegger has one. <laughs> no, he does. He's got a baboon's heart. But I'm very serious. If he, if he gets an animal heart, he may want to call me to get some information someday, and, you know, you better start treating me a little bit different. Right. Now, Jack, tell me, honestly, does Dave know anything about animals? Well, he knows something about domestic animals, probably. But what he's learned about wild animals, he's learned from me, obviously. Right, because you're, you're the only guy that's ever been on the show with animals. Right, right. I'm, he says I'm a walking encyclopedia of misinformation, but I, I do know quite a bit. You know, I'm, I'm an animal expert on a lot of shows. You're right. What does he not know about animals? Well, he doesn't know how to handle them. Uh, you know, of course, not many people do other than me, really. Right. But, uh, uh, you know, sometimes he doesn't like the monkeys and stuff jumping on him and everything. But they're just, you know, they, they, they see him and they smell him. And, and Dave has a smell, probably, that, that attracts certain animals. And the monkeys seem to like him a great deal. Apes. Well, that's, Especially that's, gorillas and stuff. Right. And you, you handle, do you ever whisper with horses or anything? Are you one of those guys? Were you born with that inside of you, the ability to <laughs> communicate with the animals? Whisper to a horse? Horse whisper. Didn't you see the movie? Oh, no, I've heard of that. I never whispered to You one. never did. Probably no. not real. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the one, the only, Jungle Jack Hanna. <laughs> Jack, you've been coming on the show a long, long time, and we really appreciate that. We're proud of our relationship with you and the animals. You always do a nice job for us. Thank you very much. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. I can't believe you said that. Yeah. How you feeling? Uh, <laughs> How's the malaria? See, I never had malaria, and that caused me a lot of problems. Really? Yeah, I, I thought I had well, malaria. You told me you had I, malaria. I told somebody here, but then he told you, and then you told the whole world, and then right. I, now nobody will do anything with me. <laughs> But this, well, this, with or without malaria, that's always been a problem, hasn't it, Jack? Yeah, true, yeah. I would think. Yeah. This is. Can you well, what this? did you have? We'll get to the animal in a minute. But what did you have? I had. Uh, it was a virus in the stomach. A stomach virus. I had oh. diarrhea. <laughs> anyway. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. I'm, I'm putting the weight back on. All right, what do you have there? It's a bush baby. That's no, a bush it's not baby. a bush baby. It's a bush baby. This is a real rare. This is rare, Dave. This, I, I never had one of these on. This is a baby gorilla. Baby? Oh, baby gorilla. Yeah, this is a, one of the rarest animals in the world. Oh what's, so, what's so neat about this animal is that this was taken by a cesarean, one of the few in the world, they were taken by a cesarean. Right. And my wife's gynecologist... In, in captivity? Did, this took place in captivity, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And my wife's gynecologist did the operation, so I had to mention that. because I, I'm, Jack. No, I'm being very serious. I want you to know that human people work with animals. Okay. But I just, and he, and she had, this gorilla had the best. So your wife gets like a deal now or something? No, she, <laughs> she's, she's, she's past the childbearing age. Oh, right. So, ah. but I just, ah. you, but, but I mean, is it, is it a good idea to, to, uh. Have you ever held a gorilla? Well, no, I never That's amazing. Ah. Is it, now, this gorilla is a female gorilla. Be, yeah. Canberra is her name. Can I put, put her right up here? Can right against your chest, yeah. Okay. Hello, baby. Hello, little baby. Hello, baby. That gorilla likes Hello, you. Hello, baby. Very cute. Now, how, how old is the animal here? Five months old, and it will go back with the, the troop in about another, uh, about another uh, six days. It'll go back with the troop. It'll go back with other girls. Hello, baby. Now, you are not Very strong at a young age, aren't they? That thing, could, that thing could tear you apart in about four years. 
Oh, uh oh, Jack, the Beanie Baby hit the hit the ground. Get the Beanie Baby. Get the Beanie Baby. Get the Beanie Baby. Come on, Jack. I thought you meant something else. No, no. Get the be give the Beanie Baby to the animal. Okay. That's what she, she wants. She can come yeah. on and get the gorilla now. So, Jack, where did this take place? In Columbus at the zoo there? Oh, yeah, in our, in our own hospital. Oh, and you have an animal hospital? Sure we do, yeah. yeah. Thank you very six much. Six doctors, six doctors very did cute. the operation. Right. Bye-bye, baby. It's a very bye -bye. rare animal. There you go. Thank you. Now, this animal, Dave... That was fun. I enjoyed that, Jack. This animal here... <laughs> you won't believe this animal. Holy crap! No, 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 God, thank you. Lying out of there. Oh, there it is. Dave, there it is. There it is, there it is Jack. There, Dave, just there. Wait, there. Just wait a minute. Come here, there it is. Dave, it's just wow. a tamarind. Wow, that's a lemur. Is that a lemur? No, it's, a, it's one of the world's smallest monkeys. Did you know, I mean, it was like something you buy at one of those novelty stores where you open the box and, whoa, no, surprise! Can, can you hand me a banana? Can you hand me a banana? No, sir. Oh, hand me a banana. Oh, sure. No, thank you. you didn't get lunch? No, I just... Are we going to feed the lemur the banana? Yeah. Here. It sounds like we're just learning English. Just feed the lemur the banana. Can you... No, just hold it. Just hold the banana. Look. Just hold the banana. Act like it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now, I have... I was going to make... I was going to make I'd a like point... I'd like to have a couple of these in my pants, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I was going to make a point. I was going to make a point. Where are they point, from, Jack? The, point, the point is, this is from South America. Mm -hmm. The gorilla is from Africa. That's one of the biggest primates in the world. Yeah. This is one of the smallest, the little tamarind. This also, this is in the gorilla family or the primate family? The primate it? family. Well, what did you make that face, Jack? Well, I just, no, you're right. That was dumb. You're right. It was a good question. It was a good question. <laughs> uh, these animals live in the rainforest, Dave. That he must be stuffed. Look at all the banana he ate. <laughs> anyway, Dave. Dave. Uh, oh! Oh, no, no, Dave, I just, I had to thank somebody. Uh, Dave, yeah, yeah. America West flew these animals first class because I couldn't get them on the airplane. They didn't fly first class, Jack. They didn't fly them first class. I swear to God. They're, they're, up, they're up in front sitting Sit in right chair. there in chairs no, with the ladies. No, they're not. Okay, they're not. Eating peanuts and complimentary cocktails? No, they had milk. They had, they had peanuts. <laughs> Look at this Jack, animal. Is, the, is this thing still on me? Jack! <laughs> is this thing still on oh, me? This is Jared Miller. He, is he, no, he raises these things. All right. Thank you very much, Jared. Nice meeting you. Keep up the good work. I've heard, <laughs> heard nothing but great things. Now, this animal, can you believe all the primates we have tonight? It's, all, it's like primate night. Primate night. Yeah. This is a bush baby, David. Ladies' night, primate night. <laughs> This is, a, this, is a bush baby. this is a bush baby. A bush baby. Bush baby. Right. The bush babies, when, I, when you're in Africa at nighttime, you go out and film and you see thousands of eyeballs, mm -hmm. and that's what this is. They're the nocturnal. Trees. That's exactly it. Yeah. Are they marsupial? No, not marsupial. Yeah. Are they car carnivores? No, they're, they eat fruit. <laughs> they eat fruit. Now, look at this thing here. These here, you this is amazing. Get them in a box. Boy, know, oh, boy. Amazing. Yay. Look at this thing. These are, these are armadillos. Yeah. Three banded armadillos. Three banded. Now, now we're going to move are, from the marsupials the to the American, armadillos. The American Southwest. That, no, it's non-banded. Exoskeletons. 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 How'd you know that? Well, that the skeleton's on the outside. Right. External skeleton. Wow. It's a female here. Yeah, something wrong there, I know. I, oh, look at this, Dave. Wait, you won't believe this. Oh, my God. D Dave, this is probably the neatest thing I think I've ever done. Whoa. Hey, Jerry. My toupee! Oh, my toupee! Jerry, take it smoke. Take it, yeah. What did I say? I said America West, yeah. Yeah, now that's not a primate, is it? No, no, you won't believe this. This animal's from SeaWorld. You won't believe this now. From SeaWorld? Yeah, this is, this is a cassowary, Dave. This is like that movie, um, you know, um... Gone with the not gone with the wind. Yeah, gone with the no, wind. No, no, yeah. Jurassic Park. These Jurassic birds Park. were featured prominently no. in Gone with the I got, Wind. No. <laughs> I got my movies. <laughs> Flying over Atlanta. No, no, I got Dave. I got my movies mixed up. Scarlet rode away on no. one of them giant I, birds. What I'm trying to tell you is, in Jurassic Park, they modeled that bird. This is this is not this is very prehistoric. This is very rare. Turkey, Jack. The cat, it's not a turkey. <laughs> the cat. What you got there is about a 40-pound turkey. No. No, this is a cassowary. Now, cassowary is from New Guinea, and he has big claws. He could take your yeah. guts right out with one kick. <laughs> oh, fine. Now, feed him, feed him a, 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 an apple, will you? Watch this, oh, here, I got apples. I got apples. You need an apple? Special apple. apple. Right Please use my apple. <laughs> no, no, he's got to have this apple. Oh, okay. you, you, you'll choke him. Watch him eat this apple. Look at this. All. Now, watch this. 
I swear he swallows this apple whole. Like he wouldn't the wild eats fruit. Yeah. But <laughs> Let Jack, me see your apple. You, you stuffed them all afternoon with apples. He is... Watch this, Dave. Watch this. These animals, these animals, these animals can eat like five pounds of fruit in like ten, like ten seconds. Look at there. Oh boy. Still wants you more. You believe huh? that? No, I don't. You can't don't, put a banana in him. No, you can't put a banana in him. Let me ask you this: How do you get the animals to the show, though? That's you probably think it's a joke, but they do fly first well, class, right? Uh, and I, do they just sit there? No, the no, no. We do, uh, well, they sit right there with us. Uh, like if that's a baby gorilla, obviously that's an invaluable animal, so it has to sit there. Uh, if it's a koala or if it's, it's a, you know, if it's a possum, he'll go over in the truck. Not because he's a possum. It's just that, <laughs> it's just that certain animals get to ride in the truck. Right. Not, I'm not differentiating between a possum and uh, all the possum lovers and all the gorilla lovers. It's just that certain animals. Do you know a lot of possum lovers? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people love possums. Well, yeah, I do too. Because I'm from Iowa. We have a lot of possums. Yeah, you've seen possums. In the street. It's the only marsupial we have in this country. Yeah. They you get run over a lot. Is. You know I know what a marsupial is. Yeah. What is that again? They, they, they raise in the pouch. They have 16 oh, nipples. Yeah. They all sit in the pouch and get raised. I'd like that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to thank Mr. Robin Williams for being here. And we've got to thank you, Jungle thank Jack. You. I fun. really appreciate it. A lot of fun. Now, listen, so you didn't bring any animals today. And, and, uh, so we've kind of had to, how come you didn't bring a little something? I just didn't have enough warning, didn't have enough time. You could have brought a little something in one of your pockets. Yeah, I probably wouldn't bite me back now because I didn't bring, bring an animal. Probably I won't get invited Are back Are you now. afraid you're not going to get invited back? No. You've I been doing I, this for 15 years. I know, I just, it's like a, you know. Are you in therapy? You seem a little down. I mean, you do. You know what? You're the best at what you do. You're the only person they've ever had on this show that's brought animals. You should feel good about yourself. Seriously. You should. Thank you. You know, you should feel real I good. I feel better already. You know. I see, I've spent so much time with the animals, I don't spend much time with people. Right. It's hard. People are different. Yeah, they are. They? they really are different. They really are. It's They're hard tough. for me. It's hard for me sometimes. It really is. Well, we can't wait to, for Dave to get back Monday. I can't. That's going to be great. It's going to be good. Thanks for doing this, buddy. All right. All right, man. We already shook hands, but go ahead. Do it again. <laughs>
uh, Mac. Here you go. Come here. Mac the macaque. Mac the macaque. Right. Yes. But they live in troops of 50 to 100. They let, uh, swim. They swim underwater. They live they, in the snow. They don't swim underwater. No, they swim underwater. They don't swim underwater. They do too. No, we, the, he would have gills if he was swimming no. underwater. <laughs> Take the monkey, please. They, you give me, I know what I'm talking about. Here. <laughs> it's been difficult to prove, Your Honor. Hi. Oh, oh what I is this? Something. Oh, oh, look this, at this little boy this here. Stump Hill. These oh, are, these my, are baby these are bears. brand new, aren't brand they? New. Just about brand new. Born in January. Now, were they born in, in captivity or did you get right. them for. Yeah. No, no, born in captivity. Born in captivity. It usually has two to four babies. And th these, are, these are black bears? Black bears, they come in different colors. Uh -huh. Now, you uh -huh. may think. Hi. Hello. Hello, you're no macaque. Dave, the one thing. The one you see thing that I, loser macaque we had out here? <laughs> How are stick, you? Stick your finger in his mouth. Okay. And he should suck it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just get it in there. Anyway, one thing about bears, Dave, we're still, oh, yeah. we're still doing research about bears. Like the honeymoon. <laughs> Dave, Ouch. we're still doing research with bears. Ouch. Ouch. One of the things we Ouch. haven't... One of the things we haven't... Look at, look at the face of that bear. Look at that. Look at how cute that boy is. You look at hear, him. Look at that boy. You want to hear an interesting fact? Well, yeah, we're looking at the bear. Go ahead. Ah, oh, cutie one, little one, baby. One thing about bears is that we haven't yet... And this is serious. They don't, they're not really true hibernators, mm -hmm. but they're still doing research. What do you mean they don't hibernate? I thought because they did hibernate. the one thing that's amazing, they're still wondering how the kidneys... Oh, 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 how the oh, kidneys... Oh, oh, how, oh, 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 I got, I got liver on my ear, something we do before the show. It's, it's teaching a bad oh, habit. Oh, hey, my bypass. Wait a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, they're trying to figure out how the bear doesn't go to the bathroom for four months because he doesn't really hibernate. Right. Oh, look at oh Now, this is a bear. God. Holy is, crap. Oh, my God. Jiminy, run is, for the... Now, this oh, is what why... What the hell? Is, you're nuts, is, Jack. What is that? It's a bear. It's the size of a Subaru. Get it no, out of here. No, no. I'm going back to the tent. No, 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 Dave. This is this is how big bears get. So everybody, this spring. Now, Jack, what, what am I doing here? Wait a minute. What am I doing here? Don't let that bear. You hold the bear and stay over there. Uh, okay. All right. Because right. I'll, I'll, I'll hold the bear and stay over here. Yeah. But this bear. Hey, Dave, we just stay right Dave, over here. What? These bears. These bears can run a football field in six seconds. They're very fast. Yeah. So this time of year, you don't want it when you're hiking. If you see a bear. You, with babies, you just want to stop and turn right. around. What should I be doing here? This one's making a lot Put of noise. finger back in his oh, mouth. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this, the bear has two to four babies. The bear has... Why don't you put your finger in that one's mouth, Jack? Hey, what? Are you all right, sir? Okay. This Jack, is, is that a black bear or a... a black bear. See, black bears, black bears come in different colors. Black bears, white bears. Yeah. They can be... Uh, Ow! Bears. I know it hurts. It does hurt. Yeah. Well, can I take my finger yeah, take, out of it? Take, take it out. But this bear, this bear, Dave, I'm trying to tell look, you. Jack, look. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Make sure, make Is sure that get, a, huh? it didn't break the blood. Just because I don't know how, what your blood's like right now. So don't, just take a shot. Get a tetanus shot. Really? Get a tetanus shot? Well, not that. It didn't break the skin. Yeah. Be all, all right, right. I, I'm going to phone my HMO. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Hanna. Well, look at that. Did he break the camera? Oh, boy, look. Hi. Hey, Jack, that, that first segment, that was exciting. Thank you very much. Are you with the zoo? No. <laughs> Just an audience member with some pets. <laughs> these are beautiful, Jack. These are tigers. These right. are tigers. These are tigers. Cubs. These they're are from the... India. That's correct. They're from Madras. No, they're from India, but India. they're from the right, exactly. they're from the forest. And these are brand new. These are little baby <laughs> tigers. It's springtime, and right. we have all the new babies right. being born in the spring. But, but the thing about the tigers, there's only four thousand left in the wild, and by the year 2015, they think they'll all be gone in the wild, all oh, totally no. extinct. Oh really? Yeah. Is, now are people still hunting them? Not hunting anymore, but they still are they poaching them? They're poaching them. Yeah, for, for <laughs> tiger part. Come here, buddy. Now these right here. Well, we seem to have plenty here. <laughs> these, well, that, 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 see, there, I don't are you want people, sure no, they're in danger, Jack? Oh, 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 man, you just scared no, me. No, I no, I know. See? <laughs> Zip. No, Boy, so, just, anyway, Dave. I'm a little jumpy because of the bear injury. No. Hi. See, Dave, yeah. you can sit down. sit down over here. Put him down and get a table. No, no, that's okay. You can sit down here with me. Would you like a no. drink? No. <laughs> no, but Dave, see, I don't want people to think there are a lot of them. Just that's your point. I don't want people to go out and hunt tigers. Well, see, I think there are a lot of them because we've got four here, and usually we have none. Right. But we're doing a great job in zoos breeding the tigers. That's right. 
The tigers have two to four babies. They actually swim. They're one of the few cats in the world that will swim. They actually will eat 40, 50 pounds of meat at a time. Bury, bury the rest. They'll bury the rest of the prey and come back and eat future now, and eat. Now, this is not a good idea. What, what is that? Is that, is that the, the dreaded white tiger? It's not. It's a white tiger. He's not dreaded. Oh, okay. But this is a white tiger. The last white tiger ever seen in the world is in 1955. Uh, am I doing something wrong here because this Put is... Put your it, finger back in his mouth. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you won't believe this. What? Uh, uh, my grandkid bit my wife's finger, and a, a human has 18 more germs than an animal. A dog only has six germs, six types of germs. Huh. So just remember that. <laughs> Come here, baby. All right. This yeah. is a white tiger. There's yeah. only about. Why don't you take these off? Because I really can't concentrate. Yeah, I. Yeah. <laughs> here, okay. This is. This is come here, baby. Ooh, yeah. Come now, how how old are are these all from the same litter? The same. No, this, these are Bengal tigers, and these are Siberian. These are Siberian. Yeah, these are, are Bengals. Okay. This right, is a Bengal. I'm not. I'm not doing something wrong because this animal is not happy. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Oh, now, oh, now you're gonna see. Uh oh. No. Here see. Listen. Go. Listen. Listen. You're gonna that's see a love. mauling. You're gonna see a mauling. That's a love. Somebody's gonna get mauled. No, that's a love. That's a love thing. This Boy, is... they're just very unhappy, Jack. Why no, don't we? They're not unhappy. They're unhappy. <laughs> Take them where they're happier. Okay. Okay. Aren't they beautiful though? They're lovely. They're gorgeous animals. I'm, I'm they grow to be 600 so pounds. 600 pounds. 600 pounds. The next oh 20 months. God. And, and these are all at the. Columbus Zoo and from his cat fight, cat fight, cat fight. Thank you very much. Another nice job. Thank you so Jack much. Jack Hanna, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Tonight. Well, yeah, because you know, we, we don't know who the winner is because we're doing this before they announce the winner. But my feeling is, if you're willing to do that, you must be the winner. <laughs> you're not going to do that if you lost. You know what I'm uh, saying? I guess not. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Our uh, first guest is uh, director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and the host of his own popular animal adventures television series, and a man who smells like monkeys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the one, the only, Jungle Jack Hanna. Wait, I don't even know where he is. Oh, yeah, he's here. Yeah, here. But what's this down here? How many, how, how, how many are in here? Is there more than one in here? Have you ever held a baby? Please, please, don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. But you got to hold him up where they can well, see. I got him. It's I like a baby. I, I know it's like a baby. It's exactly. It is a baby. What do you mean it's like a baby? Well, you're right. It's a baby. It's a baby. It's a. It's a. It's a monkey. It's a, no, it's not a monkey. It's, it's a orangutan. It, it's a monkey. It's, it's, I don't care what you say. I'm raising him as a monkey. <laughs> but it's a. It's an orangutan. And you see, you can't, you can't even see him. Even see him no, no, because but, he's but I know. Improperly see, wrapped. No, it, I, there, he there he is. What a cutie. How, how old is this kid? About 12 weeks. 12 weeks. Born it. Born it. Born at Parrot Jungle, and this is a great, this Dave is a great ape. Hello, baby. Dave, huh? it's, a, it's a great ape. It's a great ape. Is it a boy or a girl? Um, this is a little girl. What, and what's her name? Diane. Hello, Diane. <laughs> Diane, why is it Diane? Did, did her folks pick that name? It's a, Hello. This Hello, is kind baby. Of, Hello, baby. This is, Hello, baby. This is, the kind of, this is the kind of animal you would find where that survivor people were, like in Borneo. This is a Borneo yes. from Sumatra. Right. This is the kind of ape that, that you'd find out there. I don't think so. <laughs> Hello. Well, if you had to be stuck baby. with something, be stuck with that. Hello, baby. But anyway, Hello, this animal baby. day... Now, did, does the baby's mom uh, still feed the no, baby? No, because the baby's mom is a first-time mother, and she rejected the baby at 12 days. Oh, is that right? Yeah, now we'll try, we'll try and raise it and get it back with the mom as quickly as we can. Hello, 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 baby. Uh, Bernie Levine does a great job with it. And so is, is she on some kind of formula? So oh, yeah, yeah. Baby every three hours, it wakes up. Yeah, well, very it's called, cute. It's called the old man of the rainforest, oh, Dave. This what? lives in... It's called the old man of the rainforest. Well, what is that, Jack? Because it looks like an old man when they're born. Uh-huh. Now, let me show you this next uh, uh, great ape. Dave, okay. there are five great apes. Well, the orangutan, uh, the gibbon, man, the chimp, and the gorilla. Oh, there you go. Now, 
Dave, I want, I want you to hold this great ape. All right, now, so I, I kind of like you, Diane. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye, Diane. Goodbye. What it's named after Diane Sawyer, but I just want to tell you that. It's, it's not her kid. I, I don't want to know any more okay. about that. Hi. Now, what, what do we have Now, this here? right here, Dave, is a gibbon. This is a gibbon? White-faced cheek, yes, endangered yeah. gibbon. Now, the gibbon, Dave, is an animal. It really doesn't look like a great ape, does it? No, it doesn't look like a great ape at all. It looks right. like it's part more of, like, more like a, monkey. Of a raccoon, exactly. No, <laughs> no, this was born at the Columbus Zoo. It's not a raccoon. These are all great apes. <laughs> Dave, these, these, these live in the rainforest of uh, Asia as well. Uh -huh, and these are traditionally served on a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> no. right. Hello. Uh, What's this one's name, Jack? Um, what's his name? What's his name? Connie. This is Connie. No, it's not Connie. Who is this? Well, help me. Dixon. Dixon. Hello, Dixon. Yeah. Hello, baby. It now, also he, got a posable got, thumb. Got, yeah, you see here? Uh, yeah, that and, means and, it's and like a great age. A posable claws, thumb. Very sharp claws. No, they don't even, have claws. Even at this age, he, he could shred a man's uh, forehead. Honestly. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it happen in the bush a hundred times. <laughs> you haven't seen a given ever. Hello, Dixon. Hello, Dixon. The given day. Hello, days, baby. Use, use Hello, baby. The given is trying. He's, they go. Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> you are, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, look at that one. Look at Diane now. Boy, she's all cranky looking. Look at her. No, she, uh, hi, Diane. No. All right, we'll put you back to sleep, baby. No, no. Okay, there she goes. Oh, yeah, this cute. is a, a given. These are all great apes. All right, fine. But a lot of people wouldn't think that. No, I think a lot of people would think that. They would think that. Yeah, I think they would. It's not like we got catfish out here. What do you... No. <laughs> Thank you very much. Beautiful animal. Now, how big do those get when they're big, Jack? Well, like this. Look at this thing. Well, now, wait a minute. I'm not done asking questions. How big do those get? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, the gibbons... <laughs> I have all my notes. The gibbons, the gibbons get to be about, about like this big, like the gibbons like this big, uh -huh. and then the orangutans get real big. That, that's the biggest of the, uh, the great apes. They, it's one of the biggest. The gorilla gets bigger. The gorilla the orangutan orangutan gets bigger. Right. <laughs> Look at this thing. I love this thing. Look at this thing. Now, where's my insects? Now, Jack, that... <laughs> honestly, guy, that's just something you found in your pool, isn't it? <laughs> you, you want to hand me my plate? What do you got? Which one? The, the thing? No, no, this, yeah. This one right here? Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. What, what is that? That is, that's, that's an African that's bullfrog. That's in the toad family. No, it's in the that's frog family. That's one of the family. great toads. It's not, no, it's not, a, no, it's not a toad. A toad is a land animal. This uh, is a frog. That's a frog. A frog it's gets amphibious. around water. It's right, amphibian. Uh huh, okay. It's right, it's very good. Now that's look a, at this. That's a, big, that's a big frog. I have not seen him quite that big in my uh, time. In the, Hold on a minute. All right, you, you get crickets. There's some crickets. Did you know much about insects? You know, people ask me what I would take if you're going to survive, uh -huh. Dave. Look at this. Boom! In insects. Well, look, look at that. He's riding around on the, on the frog. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that cricket is riding around on a frog. Dave. You and I will sell Dave. this to Disney. We'll make a fortune. <laughs> look at that. He's Dave. riding around. Dave. There's your stupid pet trick right Dave. there, Jack. Dave. Get I'm the funny. cameras in here. You ought to see this. It's unbelievable. No, Dave, you ought to listen to this. Look at that. Dave, Dave, yeah. uh, get these for you. These are chocolate. These are the same crickets that we right. did in chocolate because insects, 1,400 insect species, make up, make up how many insects a person can eat. Oh, really? Yeah, and they carry more protein than more hamburger. Pro more protein than hamburger? 3,500 honeybees make up a pound uh, equal to hamburger and 30% more protein. Well, I didn't know that. You want a uh, chocolate cover? No, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> we did it. Look at this cricket. We did these at home. <laughs> What do you mean you did those at home? <laughs> this, is how, this is how I live when I go out. <laughs> when you go out, this is how you live. I swear to God, if you just, eat this, you won't believe it. Just stuff you find on the floor, you eat. It goes out. <laughs> Dave, I don't. got to show you one more thing. Okay. I never know when we're done. You know, I just, no, no. I'm never sure when no, we're done. No, we're finished. nowhere near done. Mm -hmm. and, and, and a lot of times when you're out here, I want to do this. Oh, gee. Ah. <laughs> okay. we get all the crickets? We'll get them. Okay. Bring my, uh, you, these are, this is gore. <laughs> you didn't kill that, dude. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't kill it. I was a joke. I wasn't anywhere near the cricket. Now you got jungle cats, Jack. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, they're beautiful. Those are, uh, those those are snow, snow leopards. Snow leopards. Thank yeah. Here, here. Thanks, boys. Thank you very much. Uh, I hear nothing are, but good things about the work you do at the zoo. Oh, thank you. These are uh, snow leopards, Dave, a yeah. very endangered species now. They're not wasting get, their time eating crickets, are they? <laughs> They're going right for the ground beef.
this, this animal lives in the Himalayas. They're an endangered species. Can Look you touch them? Are thing. they dangerous now? Oh, you can touch them. Uh, how old are they? Just don't even bite your other finger. No, I don't. I don't. How, how old are, how old are these, these are like 12 weeks old. Uh-huh. They this live is, in the Himalayas. They're, about they're 19, kitties, aren't they? 19,000 feet, and people hunted them for their coats. But look at that tail. Isn't it gorgeous? So, and you say they're endangered? Probably one of the pretty... What the heck? <laughs> That's the... That's the... Thing. He should be eating a hamburger. Yeah, he should be eating a hamburger. <laughs> one of them is a vegan. Oh, he's now the... Now that, aren't that's they, that's aren't decaf. They? You're not going to get anything there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to spill your coffee. <laughs> is he all right? Oh, he's fine. The poor thing. Now, uh, I'm he's, sorry. I feel, I feel like I'm responsible. That coffee's that. as cold as this room. Yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> the cat doesn't like cold no, coffee. No. But these are, these are the beautiful snow leopards. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, you know what's interesting? Because uh, I think all of us are familiar with uh, domestic uh, cats or, right, or kitties. Right. You know, you have them around the house. Right. You have them as pets. Right. And then here you have these snow leopards. Exactly. A- and they're all related. They're all in the same they, family. It, that's a good question because the next animal coming up relates to just what you're saying. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. This is a very good question. Thank you very a much. Very good. Okay. The next animal is my... Um, what is my next animal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one... <laughs> This yeah, animal here. Grapes, Jack. Put this on your shoulder if you want to. What is that? Is that a monkey? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of monkey is that? You won't believe this. This All is right. a civet. All right, just watch never... my hairpiece. I've, I've, I've never had one of these on, ever. ever. What is that? It's a civet? It's a civet. It's, in a, it's like a muscadi, muscadi family, right? Like, like a mongoose? Uh-huh. Now, the neat thing about this animal is that people in Africa and Asia actually take the anal gland and use it for perfume. <laughs> there we go. No, they no, don't. Yes, they no, do. No, they don't. Get That's a how bo- he marks his... Get a book and do some research. Stop making this stuff up. See, I knew you'd... Go ahead and get him. Go ahead and get, ahead and get him. Dave. Yeah, get him. Get him. Dave, you don't think so? That's just what I brought right here. Encyclopedia of Wild Animals. I got both volumes. <laughs> I got both volumes. I got both volumes. The genius, isn't he? My next animal... This next animal, Dave, is something I've never had on before either. Now, is, is the frog okay? Because the, the case, case, the case that the frog came in yeah. is, is on top of the frog. No, he's not. He's fine. <laughs> he, he was, too. He was, he was my leaning anteater? on the frog. Where's my anteater? Where's so, my anteater? Anybody bring an anteater? Anybody have an anteater with him? Anybody share a cab no, with an no, anteater? No, no, no. <laughs> Dave, oh this is God. unbelievable. Oh, my God. Dave, this is unbelievable. Well, you know, we're right in the middle of the ant season. No. Thank you very much. Dave, look at this. South from Nashville Zoo. Wow, thank you. Now, if we can get him... Look Boy, here. That, that's, a, that's a strange looking... Uh, what kind of... Well, uh, South is, American... Watch this. Watch him suck. He's got, a, he got like a 12-inch tongue. Look at this, Dave. Look at this. Have you ever seen anteater this big? Did, no, I've never seen one at all. Now, does he have a... <laughs> does he have a pouch, Jack? No. Um, a what? A pouch. No. He doesn't have... <laughs> Ask me something... Ask me, ask me something like how many ants does he eat? Well, how, all right, how many ants does he eat? He eats about 60,000 at one 60,000 ants? Yeah. Where, does well, he keep he, those in his pouch? No, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have a pouch. But now, those he, claws can he, rip a man open oh, yeah, when that's they're full what grown. I was talking about we'll, earlier. We'll where do they live, Jack? Uh, they live near places where they can find ants. <laughs> like the South. Like. like um, and that, isn't that an amazing creature? Likes the avocados. Yeah, do you know why he's got the big claws? Uh, to to shred should... a man's forehead. No, to, to, to tear apart a tree tear apart find trees the ants. looking for the ants. That's yeah, it. So desperate Funny. they are for the ants. Funny. Now, uh, you won't find them in North America? No, South America. South America Africa. only. The African Africa? eater is as yeah. big as this desk. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This animal will get to be 100 pounds. It's interesting in, in, in God's world that there is such a wide variety of beasts, large and small, coexisting to, to perpetuate the balance of life. Wow. That's, I can't top that. I can't. That's exactly what it's yeah. all about. God, is it? It's cricket. What, what cricket. was it? Oh, you had cricket, a, cricket, had a cricket. got stuck in my tongue. Well, that's what you do at your house, of course. You just. No, I don't know. I, I got it down my throat. Mm-hmm. But the anteater, Dave, is an animal that sometimes is hunted for its fur and sometimes Ew. for its meat. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think we're finally getting, well, getting yeah, away from that. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, oh. that, that kind of barbarism, we're, we're yeah. putting that behind us. Yeah, you don't want to do that People anymore. are educated now, and we know exactly. better. We're trying to protect them. Right. So when you see an anteater, you don't run over to anything. But you probably wouldn't do that over here. 
if you're driving in South America. You've I mean, seen those bumper stickers. That's the bump. <laughs> I break for Andy. I break for Andy. <laughs> no. All right. Well, Jack, you've done it again. Thank you. Uh, Jack Hanna, ladies and gentlemen. Know. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sir, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, look at this. This is this is a sign you're in for big TV oh, fun. You got a plate of raw meat and leather gloves. Oh boy, that was my favorite Joni Mitchell album. But anyway, <laughs> um, our first guest, next guest, our next guest is. Uh, Director Emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and the host of his own popular Animal Adventures television program. Here's the one, the only, Jungle Jack Hanna. Oh, there they go. There you go, Kurt. Hey, Jack. Uh, no, you don't need a glove. You got a thing, a little kitty hiding. What kind of kitties are those? Aren't these beautiful? They're cheetahs. What? They're cheetahs. Oh, Aren't they gorgeous? wow! These these animals are very uh, very fast. Uh, well, that's what I was going to point out. The, you saw how fast yeah, they were. Yeah, they, but when they, when they're out there running on the on the uh, the fastest animal in the world, mammal, right. land mammal in the world. They run like forty miles an hour. Seventy two. Seventy two miles an hour. Uh, 70, 72. They're out there on the Serengeti, is that right? Right, but you I just see want them you running should... Serengeti yeah. at 72 miles and an hour. This animal, believe it or not, was one of the few animal cats domesticated by the Egyptians. They're endangered species. They're good for commuting. <laughs> because they're so damn fast. But also, they, they, also what's neat, the, the, their, their claws are non-retractable. In other uh -huh. words, it's like a dog's foot. Right. Their claws are like a dog's I foot. I see. Uh -huh. They also have the little spots. There. See the eyes look there? Yeah, look at that beautiful face. Now, you see those spots there? Yeah. That's what looks in direct sunlight. You know how a football player wears that stuff under his eyes? Uh -huh. This animal can hunt in direct sunlight. So, so that, that's to reduce glare on, exactly. the, on the eyes. Wow, they're and it's all, uh, one of the few cats in the world that other cats will eat. But, ooh, ooh. Bo now, these are born where? In uh, ca captivity, obviously. R where? Right, in, in, uh, uh, they're at the, uh, the Columbus Zoo right now. Columbus Zoo. Right, Is that where they were born? For American Zoo Association. We're raising these right where, now. Where were they born? They were born, the mother cheetah had them. In Baltimore? <laughs> Oklahoma. They're Oklahoma. They're from Oklahoma. They're yeah. from Africa, but they're born in Oklahoma. That's right. They were born in... <laughs> <laughs> now, there's another animal yeah. that's from Africa, too. Right. That these animals would also see, but they wouldn't eat it. Uh-huh. You can take the gloves off. No, I ain't taking them off. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Okay. They're, they're beautiful. And, and uh, uh, they're, are they endangered? They're not oh, endangered. Oh, where's your meat? Oh, it's, uh, I don't know. It's over there. On the... <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are these animals endangered, Jack? I, I told you they were endangered. Already. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I guess. <laughs> so, so we're bringing them back then. They're they're doing oh, yeah, fine. Yeah, exactly. We haven't bred these in ten years, by the way. Most zoos have not bred them. Moratorium on them because of inbreeding in Africa and all over the world. And, so. and people had been hunting them. Is that why? Oh yeah, for in... coats. Yeah, coats oh. are valued about sixty thousand dollars. People people actually wearing cheetah coats. Oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that's terrible. unpleasant, isn't no, it? No, it's terrible. Yeah. All right. Wow. Now this animal here, if we can bring this animal out, this animal, believe it or not, Dave. Well, why don't we clear one set of animals and then bring out the other? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, you, you think that's, look at that, isn't that weird? What's that? What? That, that's weird. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> this that's, is that's the Cincinnati it. Zoo. Look at this thing. You know what that is? It's a fish. Okay, it's the a, first. I, know, let me, I tell you what, I know what it is. It's a, it's a kind of pig. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the first letter in, no, let me see. Let me get this right. Dead first letter in the alphabet, no, first word in the dictionary. Um, 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 uh, a. Oh, 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 uh, it's an aardvark. A. That's it, aardvark. <laughs> Wow, it's an aardvark. Never had an aardvark, ever. I've never seen one. This is the only man in the world that can work on an aardvark. What's your, what's your name, sir? Uh, Mike Delaney. Mike, nice job on the Appreciate aardvark. It. Look at that thing. <laughs> but Dave, you may... You Where may... are you guys staying? <laughs> Dave, <laughs> I Dave, guess Dave. so. Hey, come here. Hey, I'm Mike, I'm not done. Now, Jack, this, if, if... this is... Dave, huh? this is called an indentata. Indentata? No, that's what the aardvark's called. Mm -hmm. An indentata means an animal that's toothless. It's oh, no, no teeth. No teeth. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this animal. This is also an indentata here. This is a, look, how, look how they look similar. Oh, boy, look at there. Now, watch this, Dave. That's an armadillo. 
Yeah, can you move that over? Well, you asked for it, Jack. And... <laughs> Raw meat, anybody, seriously? <laughs> you can break, look at this. Now, now, compare the two animals. Uh -huh. Now, watch this. This is amazing. Now, when this animal's hunting, oh, whoa. he's looking for worms. Uh -huh. This is an armadillo, non-banded. We have a three-banded. I'm going to bring a three-banded out. You know, what, what's the difference between the banded, the non-banded, and the well, three-banded? It's got nine bands, and right. the three-banded's got three bands. Are you saying nine or non? I said na nine. Nine. Nine, nine bands, I see. <laughs> this is a three-banded. Look at this. Wow. Now, look at that. Mm -hmm. This is a whole shell. This is a home, everybody. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? They also carry leprosy, but these don't have it. <laughs> these don't have it. They don't have it. They do carry it. How do you know they don't have leprosy? Because... Back in the old, back in the old days, back in the old days, people didn't like. Well, these he's stuff. crazy about those worms. So, Just some, can't get enough of those worms. Some people. Oh, oh. They, 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 Some people, some people actually cooked the armadillo. You're going to get shell. parasites. Some people actually cooked the armadillo in his shell. Is that right? Yeah. Just can you imagine? It's all right there. Well, yeah, yeah. Or softball. Now, now, guess what you get? <laughs> if you breed a non-banded and a three-banded. You get a 12 banded. Is that right? I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. I made that up myself. On that note of levity, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Jungle Jack Hanna. <laughs> now that's, that's a porcupine. That's a porcupine. Yeah. So I'm being very careful. Now, now, they, they, these things, they don't actually shoot out of the no, see, animal. It's, it's like a wives' it's, it's a wives' sale. But animals, it's a method of protection for the porcupine. Exactly. And, and does he have any uh, enemies that could kill him? Yes. If you turn him over, right. eat underneath his belly there. Uh -huh. That's what the cougars do. But you get those, those quills and you could die from infection. Like each one of those quills has a barb on the end. You can't even see it with the naked eye, can you? No. So now, now when, when the uh, cougars... When the cougars turn them over and kill them, do they then eat them? Yes. Well, then, then don't, they, don't they die then because they get the poisonous barbs well, the, in them? The porcupine does. He's, the cougars eat him. No, no, no. But does, does, does the cougar, does oh, the the cougar, cougar die? No, no. The cougar, if he could, the quills are in his, and he gets infected because these quills are hard to get out. That's why I didn't know I was going to be able to hold him. Uh -huh. But this is not, this is a prehensile tail porcupine. Look at the tail there. Yeah, this is from South America. Yeah. The North American porcupine is bigger than this, and the African porcupine is huge. Oh, they boy. rattle their quills first to scare you away. Then if you keep on screwing with it, you go up to it, then they're going to stick you. And are people that dumb that they'll, they'll keep on screwing with it? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Now, now, let's get back to this cougar uh, scenario. Yeah. The, the, the cougar is eating the porcupine. He's killed the porcupine. Yeah. Yeah. And not, not you, of course. No, not this one. This is a hypothetical situation. Yeah, this is from South America. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and then the cougar eats the porcupine and gets a, a belly full of these quills, and then that oh, kills him, right? Oh, I mean, right now. Huh? Right now. So what's the point of messing with him in the first place? Because if you're hungry, you eat a porcupine. I mean, if you think about you in the wilderness, if you're real hungry, you get hungry, you're going to eat anything. So that, that's my <laughs> logic. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I mean, yeah. you're, <laughs> you're jungle jack, for God's sake. Right, sakes. I know it. Anyway, the prehensile tail, you see it? Yeah, I that, see it. They live in the trees. They never come down on the ground. No, they never, never. do. No. But the North American does. They come down occasionally for a banana. No. And that's it. They don't eat... Yeah, they do. Okay. <laughs> uh, they don't eat I, bananas. I had something else to say. Well, oh, well, oh well, I know what else I had to say. What? It's difficult for them to breed. To, to breed? Breed. Breed, not breed. Breed, because... Breed. Because, because they're all prickly. Because of the prickly. prickly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is something. Reminds me of my first wife. No. <laughs> Now watch this. Yeah. This is one of the fastest birds in the world. Oh, you, you get can a sit bird. there if you want to. Well, where's the bird? You Just don't hold your hand. That's no bird. This is food. Oh, I thought that now, was the, the bird. The bird's going to hopefully fly from back there. Now, tell the audience. Don't, coming in from don't anybody wait. Don't do. Huh? Coming in from uh, Newark? Oh, that's good, Newark. Uh, don't anybody wave your hands, though. I'm serious. Don't wave bird, your hands. If the bird happens to land on what somebody, kind of bird is don't it? panic. What kind of Just bird is there. it? I'm serious. I'm not being funny. What kind of bird? It's a, uh, what is it? It's a Harris hawk. Harris hawk. It's a hawk. It's a, a raptor. A raptor. It's a raptor. Where is it? They're, they're deadly dangerous and they're evil. Watch this. Oh, don't, and where's he going? Oh, well, I'm, I'm moving over here. Look at this. Wow, look at this. Wow. Oh, man, beautiful. That's amazing. Wow. Wow, I didn't want him. I thought he'd peck me or something. Yeah. That's, from, that's from the Fort Worth Zoo. Wow, that's... John's one of the best bird trainers in the world. Wow, that's great. That's a beautiful you, animal. You want to see it again? Well, sure, I'd like to see that again. Okay, go ahead. Can you do it again? Yeah. All right. Is that's he going to go this way? That's the Harris Hawk, by the he's way. Going, he's going that Fort way. Fort Worth Zoo. Mm -hmm. Again, don't anybody move. All right. <laughs> oh. I didn't go, go too far. Got a layover in Albany. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll be here. 
Right back. That's look look at those talons. Look those at talons. Beautiful, yeah. Those talons. And they they right circle uh, thousands of feet in the sky and they dive down on prey and, and eat, pull things out of the air and eat them. It, well, on the ground, right. They got the eyesight. You can read a newspaper at the end of the football field. This animal can read a newspaper? <laughs> no. <laughs> they, they say. Jack, you're yeah. sitting on a gold mine here, my friend. <laughs> No, I'll just tell you what they tell you. They tell you that if they, if they could see, that's how far they could see. If they, well, they can see, but if they could read, they could read the... Yeah, they could read it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Well, thank you very much. Is that, is that it, Jack? Yeah. yeah. There he goes. Wow, look at that. Whoa. That's beautiful. Oh, man. <laughs> that's beautiful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's beautiful. It really is. It's lovely. It's majestic. Thank you. Thank you. It's majestic. Thank you. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Jungle Jack oh, I, I, Huh? I, no, I had an owl monkey. You won't believe it. It's Wait, an owl monkey? It's the airport right now. You don't have an owl monkey. I had an owl monkey coming. It was at the airport. They wouldn't let it on, but it's at the airport now. I didn't get here, but next time I'll have it here. Now, you're, you're saying half owl, half monkey? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's got big eyes. It's an owl monkey. Right. But it'll be here next time. It's something you made in the lab? No, I... <laughs> Forget it. Oh, yeah, next time, bring that owl monkey in here. Uh, <laughs> How about a cat dog? Bring no, in I the cat it. dog. <laughs> bring in the horse pig. Jungle Jack Hanna, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Ben Miller is staying for us. You know, I forgot to give her her flowers. I have flowers here, and I forgot to give them. Oh. Would you, would you be a deer and run these back to her? Sure. All right. These are for Miss Columbia. Absolutely. And no fooling around back there, all right? <laughs> and tell her they're from me. What an opportunity. Tell her, tell, no, it's not an opportunity. No, well, <laughs> tell, tell, tell her they're from me. Oh, oh, all, right, all, right, all right. All right. And watch out for the animals. These are from you. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Thanks, Paul. Oh, <laughs> they won't oh, let him gone. in. All right. All right. What? All right. Oh, no, she's wait gone. a minute. What? She's gone? Here. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> well, what happened? Miss Columbia has left the building. No. <laughs> no. Where? I hope there's a huge cheetah back. <laughs> So I, I gave them to Biff, and, and I hope that if, if she's still here, Biff will give them to well, her. Well, somebody phone the, the consulate and, and, and make sure she gets her flowers. Yeah, okay. Biff, what, no. phone the consulate. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Our next guest is uh, Director Emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and the host of his own uh, popular Animal Adventures television series, Run for Your Lives, America. Here he is, Jungle Jack Hanna. <laughs> Hey, what do you think about your buddy uh, George W. Bush drilling up Alaska and the Rocky Mountains and stuff like that, looking for natural gas? How do you feel about that? That's too bad. I, was, I, I got a lot of thoughts on it, but I better not get involved in the whole it's, thing. It stinks. It's a bad idea, ain't it? Yeah. 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 Why don't just... they, do, they do vertical drilling, but it's bad. Yeah, I know, but still and all, you don't want yeah. people up there messing around no, in that no. pristine wilderness at all. No. Why don't you just drill up his ranch down there in Texas? What do you got there, Jack? Monkeys? <laughs> Have you ever been to Alaska? No, I've never been to oh. Alaska. What these, these aren't monkeys. Mm -hmm. What are they? The first time ever in the world on TV. It's a palace cat. A palace cat? Palace cat. I've never heard of a palace these, cat. They're from Mongolia, uh -huh. Russia. Are, are these have... uh, wild animals? <laughs> well, I wouldn't be having them here if they didn't come from a dog. I, I don't know. They just look, <laughs> they, they look, like, they look like litter box kind of here, kitty no, kitty kind of things. Well, th that, this, is, this is something what everybody's seen. They may not appreciate this. But this is a palace cat. They were hunted almost to extinction for their coats. They were hunted? Yeah, can you imagine hunting a 15-pound no, cat? No, I Ridiculous. can't imagine it at all. And, and it's called, um, they have little short ears to keep, so they don't get frostbite. They live about 15,000 uh, feet. Are they, how old are these? Are they brand new? 15,000 feet? My God, is that yeah. right? Oh, yeah, when they're born. Yeah. That's amazing. And it? they only grow to 15 pounds? Yeah, about that. Mm -hmm. And this right here, look at this. We have now, do I take both of them? Yeah, just hold them together. How long, how, why do you have to hold them together? Because they just do that. That's what they do. <laughs> 
I mean, you, 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 when little dogs and little cats are raised together, right. you know that. Yeah, okay. So these, I, I, now, these are cladded leopards here. Look yeah. at these. These are very rare. Same, same part of the world, mm -hmm. and these cats live in the forest. Those live at high altitudes. But, but Jack, in... no, wait a minute. Can you hear? There seems to be some distress over here. Do you hear no, that? No, no. They're just, they're purring. No, that's not Put purring. them against your chest. They're, they're on the nipples, so you got to keep them warm. Put, put them... We're, we're... Hold them against your body. I'm man. holding them against my body. You never hold a baby. You hold them like, you hold a baby turn, like this. Turn them around. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, these are clouded leopards, Dave, mm -hmm. and these are very rare, too. These animals eat monkeys and birds, live about 90% of their lives in trees. They eat monkeys and birds? Yeah. Their coats are valued at $80,000. Well, that's no, that would get no good. No. You shouldn't say that because now people will get the idea <laughs> that we could go out and hunting them for money. I didn't mean it that way. They're not going to go out and hunt them for money. Well, they okay. can't find them, number one. I've been over there three times, never seen one. <laughs> and you know how good I am. I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That has never been in doubt, Jack. No, I... Now, wait, this next cat coming. Mm -hmm. You won't believe this cat. Now, this... Wait, am I done with my cat, Jack? Yeah, you're done. <laughs> I, you brought the veterinarian. I brought are, the veterinarian with us. I brought the veterinarian with us. Oh, hi. Nice yeah. to see you. Yeah, yeah. Come up later for the shots. <laughs> oh, here's... Look at this. Now you got something, huh? Yeah, I got something. Wow. That's, a, that's, a, that's a, a leopard. No, it's, it's a cheetah. It's a cheetah. <laughs> oh, that's the one... Is this the one you saw backstage, Paul? Yeah, yeah so you could imagine. Yeah. This is the yeah. fastest. Whoa. Can you, can you come up here? This is the fastest land mammal in the world. Yeah. 70, 70 miles, miles an hour. An hour. When they... they hit their prey, they hit them going so fast it shocks them. Uh -huh. And then they grab the esophagus and rip it off. Right. And, and they, they're, they're found on the Serengeti? Well, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, are, they on, fast, are they faster than an impala? I just said they're the fastest land mammal in the world. How about a Ford Taurus? Are they faster <laughs> than an isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's a beautiful ask, me, ask me why their eyes are dark like why that. Why do they have the dark eyes, Okay, Jack? because they hunt in direct sunlight. And like a ball right? player wears yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Now, are, sun... are these endangered, these animals? Oh, my gosh, yeah. Is that right? All these cats I've had on are endangered. All, all where, these cats where are, tonight... they, where are they being hunted that puts them in a precarious situation? In Africa. They still hunted it's some. It's still legal to hunt these animals. Yeah, it's For, for what purpose? Just sport, coats, game, sport, food, coats? Exactly. Right. Good Indian, Lord. It's terrible. Well, why, why haven't we progressed beyond that as a civilization? <laughs> You're getting serious for me. I can't do all this. <laughs> I, I'll know next time. I'll know the answer. To the no, no, that, that's a very good point. It, it really is. You know, you, because when when they're gone, they're, they're gone. gone forever. They're, they're gone, and we'll just have photos and books. And so remember these? Exactly. Well, they're gone. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I had some. Now this one stuff. is purring. This one is. You can hear this purring. Right. Uh, let me finish. The tail, the tail is used for a rudder when it's going fast to guide it. Now look at the feet. I want you to look at the feet. The camera got and get real close here. These feet are like a dog's foot. Look at this, everybody. The claws are non-retractable. See here? Come here, kitty, kitty. Mm -hmm. See that? Look at that. See the claws? Yeah. See that? Look at that. Isn't wow. that amazing? Wow. And See so that, that, that enables them to go fast. fast, fast. Exactly. Those are, and those are what? Radials? No. <laughs> The next animal, anyway, this animal got to take off that way because I don't want him to see this no, next No, okay, animal. that was amazing, Jack. Now, that's a full-grown... Uh... No, 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 another 25, 30 pounds. That's oh, a, is that right? That's a species survival plan, that animal. The guy carrying a camel. <laughs> never seen such a thing. <laughs> and this heat stiff over here, right? All right, I'll tell you what. Now, look at this, Dave. Now, can I, this can is I a baby camel. It, hold it up, hold it up high, Jack, like that? Yeah, don't okay. let it get gas, right. Well, how do, how do you keep it from getting the gas? Wow. Now, this is a, a brand new. How old? Brand new. Only about uh, four weeks four old. Four weeks. Born at the zoo or? Born, oh, yeah. Sorry, thank you. And this, this animal here is an animal that's uh, being raised because the mother didn't take care of this. Is one. it a dromedary? Uh, exactly. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, you have to look at the hump. It's one hump day. Okay, we'll, we'll be right back here with uh, Jack Hanna, everybody. I'm, I'm not. You ever been to Columbia? Columbus, Ohio. No, no. <laughs> Have you ever been to Columbia in South America? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful oh, down the there. Boy, I just got back from oh, Brazil. That's a wolf. Okay. That's a wolf. Isn't that beautiful? That's a wolf, Jack. Look yep. out. Jack, that's a wolf. 
See that? See, that's, that's a wolf. Be careful. What, what you're doing right now, you're scaring everybody at home to think of things. Mean old red. No, that big, is. Bad that's wolf. a wolf. That's not. That's you're thinking that that's just like you know spot or something. No, no. no you're, that's a wolf. Is, I know friend. it's a wolf. That's why I brought it. To make a point. You, 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 you don't have to be afraid of, of of wolves. Wolves are more afraid of you. It's a pack animal. It's one of the most social animals right. in the world. They're not for pets, obviously. And we have these coming back into Yellowstone. We had. They'll knock you down and chew your face off. He's a wolf, Jack. A wolf has never been known to ever kill a human being. I bet have you, you ever seen? I bet you didn't know that. I'd like to see one of these in sheep's clothing, my friend. Then you'd have something. <laughs> well, you probably would, but but the, but the wolf has never right, killed. Probably. The wolf has never killed a human being. Look and look it's at this. Never animal. killed a human. They being? take care of their young, the mm -hmm. old. They're, we should learn a lot from the wolf as human beings. May I touch the wolf? Yeah, just be careful. <laughs> well, you, we can touch it. We can touch it. We can touch it. We can touch it. That's oh, nice. Isn't it? That's a Can you imagine? Do you ever think, think you touch a wolf? No, never did. Yep. Okay. Thank you. But I just wanted to show you what a wolf. Because in Yellowstone, they've come back. There's 160 of them now. 160 wolves. Yep. Wolves. Mm -hmm. This next thing, you won't believe this next thing. Now, they're the, the, the ranchers don't like the wolves, do they? No, they don't. Yeah. Nope. Wow. Well, are you going to put him there? Sure. Put, why not? Okay. okay, look here. Now, go over there. Watch this, Dave. This bird's got a big beak because he, he cracks his nuts, and it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> This bird, I asked him to bring some big nuts out here. I really did, some big Brazilian nuts. I asked him to do that. Oh, my God, my Don't toupee, do that. my toupee. Dave, this is the highest in McCall, one of the rarest parents. parents they're from Colombia. You know, it's amazing. They, they are from Colombia? Tonight's all South American. I never yeah. knew it, or I'd known some more facts. They're from and, and, Yeah. <laughs> or you would have known some more facts. I would have, about South America, <laughs> Colombia. This bird is in Colombia, Brazil. Yeah. I went to Brazil. Now, I'll sell these in now, the wild. Now, how do parrots do when they're taken out of their natural environs? How, they don't really adjust very well, do they? Look at that, Dave. Ooh. Man, well, you're, you're not getting that one back. Oh, this, this guy right here, this guy right here is a good bird trainer. You, you take care of him? Well, well, what happened was uh, Ricky Mark was practicing. I didn't get a chance to practice uh. myself. So <laughs> don't worry about it. It won't hurt anything. Okay. Anyway, this bird's a high from a call. Yeah, listen real quick. Beautiful. The, the birds, are, you never should get a bird from the wild, ever. Mm -hmm. Always domestically, that bird's going to be 100 years old, mm -hmm. and that bird's about $15,000. So I better get him back. All right. Well, good luck, Jack. Good luck at the Columbus Zoo. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Jungle Jack Hanna. We'll be right back with Ricky Martin. Is that like the easy beats or the new? No, beats? bus stop. Bus stop. By ha the Hollies. By the Hollies. Please share my umbrella. That's right. You get it? Look, yeah, I do. I got it. Okay. Look at this. We got this laid out. See all of that? We have some grapes. We have some raw uh, meat and uh, some bananas. It's the same spread we put out whenever uh, CBS executives come over for a meeting. <laughs> and, uh, and why is it there tonight? <laughs> well, because uh, Jack Hanna has the animals. Oh, the animals. Yeah. So in other words, the same spread. I, I got it. <laughs> Our first guest is Director Emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and the host of his own very popular Animal Adventures television series. Hold on to something and please welcome Jungle Jack Hanna. House of the Rising Sun by the animals. The animals, yeah. yeah thank you. Good. Yeah. Or by the executives. Whoa! <laughs> oh, he, he don't, he don't, oh, no! Oh, no! Grab, grab a grape. Just grab a grape. Grab, grab a grape. Grab a grape. Grab a grape. Grab a, Somebody throw me a grape. <laughs> now what do I do? You feed him the grape. Oh. Well, Watch out. Don't even get your... Well, well I don't get him off here, me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh! Ah! Come here. He's fine. He, he does... He does a grape he, my ass. No, he's <laughs> get him off me. They're not. They're not. What, they're what fruit is that? eaters. Is that a lemur? It's a brown lemur. They're they're, they're dangerous. They're uh, carnivores, aren't they? No, they're not a carnivore. They're, why they're why an did he lunge at me like that? <laughs> he likes you. Uh, I see. Now, if you if you if you go, his What's name his is Pot Tart. Pop Tart. Pop Tart. Okay. Just go Pop Tart. Pop Tart. Pop Tart. Talk to him. He'll kiss you. He won't hurt. I don't want him kissing me. Well, Pop -tart, pop -tart. Isn't he cute? No, he's lovely, cute little these are, animal. These, there's only about 30 species of lemurs. You got brown lemurs. Oh, he's doing lemurs. it again. Holy. He's all right. No, he's, he's not. He, 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 he's a fruit eater. He's not a nut eater. 
They, they, they're, they're, they're fruit eaters. I'm not going to say they're not you-know-what eaters. They're fruit eaters. They don't eat. They, they're fruit eaters. You know, see, I don't know what, what animals do when they're frightened. And, and, and to me... But that, I do. I, sometimes I do. Right, but I just... <laughs> I just don't like having a wild animal in my lap. Right. This is a lemur. They're very rare. They're from Madagascar off the coast of Africa. Mm. Now, I've got another animal from Africa. Is that in, is that in the monkey family? That, that no, it's in it's a persimmon. Persimmon. Pre ape, pre monkey. This is pre everything. Pre prehistoric. Pre exactly. Wow. Prehistoric. <laughs> this next animal, you wouldn't, you'll love this animal. I've never had one of these. Uh, Jack, well, how about the one at a time rule? Remember the one at a time rule? <laughs> Let's just have the here's, one at a time. Here, here to, here, here, thank you. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Wait, my, Easy. All right. All right. And this beautiful, look at this. Oh, my God. That's a jungle right cat right there. That's a jungle cat. Wow, oh, that's a beauty. What is that, beautiful. Jack? This is a black leopard. Oh, my God. Can touch no, no spots on him? Can nope. I touch him? Because it's a black leopard. They don't have spots. <laughs> that's, see, that's, it's, it's, if you really, if you want to get scientific. Yeah, that's a beautiful animal. You want to get scientific? Mm-hmm. It's got a, it's a melanistic color face. Ah. If you look real close, if you look real close, look at the spots on him. Look at the spots through the black. You see it? Sort of, yeah. Sort. It's sort of a modeling of the fur. Exactly. It's called a melanistic color phase. Mm -hmm. Now, the black leopard is not a black panther. No. It's called a black leopard because it's different. Very rare, I would guess. They're very rare. And this is this is still a, a kitty. Still. Yeah, a kitty? this is only eight weeks old. Yep. Eight weeks old. Yep. Now, from, can I feed? From, does from, this one like from a grape? The Huntsman's. Yeah. No, no, not a grape. Not a grape. Okay. <laughs> What, what do you want? No, 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 that's, that's for other animals. It's, oh, so he can't have no, that? No, he just had a bottle. Oh, just had oh. a bottle. Now, this I... animal can lift five times his weight in a tree when he makes a kill. I've been to Africa before, watched him kill. They can take an antelope five times his weight right up in a tree. W when they're adult, when they're mature. Yeah, this one here couldn't do it, obviously. Now, now can, I, can I touch? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So they can chase down an antelope. What, what's the fastest plains animal? That's the cheetah, 75 miles an hour. Uh -huh. The fastest animal in the world is a peregrine falcon, 220 miles an hour. Oh, but that's I a, know that's uh, everything about speeds. A grizzly bear, football field, six seconds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pretty good. Now, can I touch the, the cat? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I just want to touch Beautiful, you. Beautiful, isn't he? You, oh, it's, it's you, you'll never touch another black leopard. No, I sure won't. Now, will this one, will this one, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll never have another lemur in my lap no, either. No, you damn well. <laughs> but now, Jack, will, will, this, will this animal at this uh, point in his life, will he purr? Um, they purr sometimes, but it, you, you, this is not a purring type animal. This is not a pet. This is a wild animal. No, I, I know it's not a pet, but I, I thought all felines, everything in the feline family had the mechanism well, by which they could purr. Next time I'll bring an animal and it'll purr, but not this time. <laughs> well, that's not even the point. I know, but it, but it doesn't purr very much. But uh, sometimes, like, like lions, don't you hear lions purr? It's not more. It's more of a juggler thing, not a purr. But it's a. It's oh my God! Look well, at this well, thing. Welcome I, to Bush Gardens. Holy crap! No, this crap. not. This is, look at this. This is called. This is. This is a African crown crane. Never had one of these ever. This bird is the national bird of Uganda. Wow. Isn't that something? It's very. It's regal looking. Yeah. Isn't it? now, if you look at his feet. His is feet, that the male or the female of the species? Um, they're both alike, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> They both, no, they, they, they both look alike, but they have cloacas. You can't tell. They don't have a penis. They have cloacas. It's, it's like a chicken. You don't understand, do you? It's, they have openings. They have, both have openings. I don't want to hear about them. So, so. Uh, now, this bird here, look at this. This is interesting. Uh, they, the huntsman saved this bird. He has feet frozen off. Isn't that something? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And so they saved him. Where, and we're where, where did that happen, Jack? Uh, uh, it wasn't in Africa, obviously. No. Uh, it happened. Somebody had stolen the animal from a zoo or something? No, no, no. He was at a place. It was, it was hatched one morning. It was real frozen cold, free, cold, and he wasn't supposed to hatch. Anyway, they're making prosthesis for his feet now. Art artificial feet for yeah, the and bird. I, I can bring him back with his new feet, but he's, he's a beautiful bird. Wow. The national bird of Uganda. Now, this next bird's also from Africa. Watch that's, this. That's baby. very impressive. You got, now, my, now you got is, my is chicken breast? Does that bird fly, you got the Jack? Breast? Will that one fly? Give me some chicken breast. Hold on. Okay. Here, you want to hold, hold this breast? I, no, I want nothing to do with that. But. No. <laughs> But now, does that bird, will that one fly, Jack? Oh, he should. I know he should, but... Whoa! Yeah. Pretty good. Now, what, want, do, what do you got here? If, I'll let you do this, too. This is a... Uh, now, this is not a regular crow. No, that's... Uh, you know, it's a pied crow. It looks like a magpie a little bit. Well, they do call crows magpies. Is that right? Yeah, here, Jared. Go back, Nigel. Go back, Nigel. Nigel, go to Jared. Jared. Go to Jared. Go to Jared, Nigel. 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 There, look at that. Look at that, Dave. Yeah. Here, hold this chicken breast. I don't hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Jared. Jared. Wait, wait, wait. Say Nigel. Nigel. Hold your arm out. Nigel. 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 Oh, look at that. Okay. That's pretty cool. 
There he goes. Okay, goodbye. There he goes. Nigel. Nigel. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's, oh, boy. That's pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, it looks like his <laughs> batteries are low. All right, we'll, we'll be right back with Jack Hanna and some more animals, everybody. Super. Nice going, kid. Yeah, can I, uh, can I ask you, well, you're, you're an animal guy. What, what do you know about anthrax? It comes from animals. What do you right. know about it? Have you ever worked around anthrax? I probably, uh, all over the place, probably, I probably got some uh, spores on me, but I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> no, I, I do know that a lot of animals do carry it, and I've been in countries where I'm sure that anthrax has been, but I just try and right. come back in without it. I see. Um, well, this there's good here, advice. This <laughs> <laughs> This right here, Dave. Dave. Just keep that in mind. Dave, look at this. Try to come back in without it. What do you have here, Jack? Look at this. Another little kitty. Have you ever stuck your tongue in anything this big? Look at this. What is that? This is this is a kinkachu. Oh, a kinkachu. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Called a honey bear, a kinkachu. Yeah. My daughter Julie right there uh, uh, raised this at home. Hi. Yep. And, 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 and what family are they in, Jack? Um, they're not in the bear family. They call it a honey bear. Uh -huh. Julie, what family is it? Not the mongoose. Huh? Raccoon. They're in the raccoon. Raccoon. There's his tongue, Dave. You see it? It's real oh, quick. Didn't see it. Shoot. I've worked hard on this. Dead gummit. <laughs> easy, easy, Jack. This tongue is 12 inches long. Yeah. But it's not working, is okay, it? Okay, well, that's all right. We'll anyway, the kinkachu we'll was hunted as a pet. Plus, they call it the alcoholic of the rainforest. Oh, is that what does yep. that mean? Well, because he likes to eat fermented fruits. Uh -huh. And he and just starts little jumping loopy? around crazy, yeah, loopy. Yeah. So this, this comes from South America, the kinkachu? South and Central America. Is this animal country. endangered? No, no, there are quite a few of them. But, but, uh, May I but, touch the animal? Yeah, you touch him, yeah. Th this looks a, a little like the lemur. Is there any similarity there? This looks, reminds me, it puts well, it in the mind of the lemur that was just out It probably puts you in that mind, but it's really not. This, oh, Here, completely Julie, different. You go. How does it get along with Well, the because lemur? you got the lemur, or this is not a lemur, this is the kinkachu. I know. You got the kinkachu from South America, <laughs> and you got the lemur from Africa. Two different continents. Thank you, nice meeting you. That's Julie. Right. Yeah. Cute daughter. She's pretty good, isn't she? She raised all kinds of animals. Howdy. Oh, look at this here. Wow. Boy, that's... Now, now this right here, Dave. You, st you stay right there. Oh, wow. Now, look at this. That's just now, amazing. tell me. Now, I, that's what, I know you've never seen this. I've never, that's a, let me guess. Let me guess. That's a lynx? No. It's a palace cat. Palace? Palace cat. P-A-L-A-C-E? P-A-L-L-A-S. Oh. Because a man named Mr. Palace discovered it. Really? Yeah. When, when and, and uh... this this animal is from Afghanistan. Uh huh. And, oh, is that right? Yeah, and the, the Afghanistan shipped out about five thousand pellets in nineteen uh, not pellets pelts five thousand pellets in about nineteen seventy eight and then Mongolia in nineteen ninety. So the animal is so rare. There's only thirty in this country. Mm -hmm. It's called a palace cat. Palace cat. F feel the fur on this. How long ago is, is this a domestic animal? No, it's a wild animal, but wild it can animal. be domesticated. <laughs> And I can, I can touch the animal? Yeah, go ahead. And how long ago did it, was it discovered? Well, probably oh, I would wow. say late 1800s. It's very but, nice. But you see... You, you, <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you see... Yeah. Go ahead, you take it. Dave, do you see why... You, see, you, you felt his coat, didn't you? Beautiful. You felt his coat. That's Beautiful. why it's killed. That's why it's been killed for its pelts. Well, I, I, so now are they, are they thriving in this country? You said there are 30 no, now only in this 30, country? No, only 30 in this country. In a while, we don't know how many are left. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow, we. What did it get you, Jack? Almost. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a little quicker though, but I just wanted you to see the palace cat yeah, because again, this is from much. Afghanistan. All right, that's good. That's very timely. Yeah, there are not going to be Jack. many left, probably. Yeah. So we're taking care of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yeah. Oh my goodness! What have we got here? Look at oh, this. Oh my goodness! Holy cow! There you go, Buster. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this guy. Hey, Man. Hi, pal. How are you? Oh, my God. Here, Julie, pick Dave's up. What, what do I have here? Pick what? Dave's up. Pick Dave's tiger up. Put him on his desk. Some, somebody pick Dave's tiger up. Come here. Pick Dave's tiger up. Th this is a Bengal tiger. Am I doing something wrong with the uh, bottle there? No, I just want oh you can't see the tiger. Oh Hold him up here. Hold him up here, Mike. Dave? Dave? What, Jack? What? Don't, don't let him eat your I'm meat. I'm not. I don't. Just feed the bottle. The guys from CBS will be here in a couple of minutes. Right. What are we going to do? Anyway, Dave, these, this, these tigers, these tigers, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, they're spectacular. These, these Bengal tigers will start gaining about a pound a day right now. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, they'll be about four or five hundred pounds. Look at the feet on this thing is like a canoe paddle. Look no. at the side. <laughs> Look at that foot. Now this Dave over here is a white tiger, by the way. Right. Have I'm, you noticed the theme we have tonight? Uh, a lot of cats. No, unusual colors. Uh, unusual colors. <laughs> But, Jack, now when they're full grown, how much will this animal weigh? Four to five hundred pounds. Oh my they're going to start goodness. gaining a pound every 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 other day. They gain a pound. How old are they right now? About uh, fourteen weeks. Oh, this is very sweet animal. The Whoa. tiger, the tiger could, good could be extinct by the year 2015. Good, good doggy, my God. Well, Jack, you've outdone your. Hey, sitting in the meat. He's sitting in the meat. We're right, going, you so. Nice job. One of the largest predators on Earth. Nice job. Thank you very much. Jungle Jack Hanna, everybody. You did pretty good, old Jack. Thank you very much. Guest is the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and the host of his own very popular Animal Adventures television series. Here he is, Jungle Jack Hanna. Jack. Oh my God! It's a chicken. It's a chicken, Jack. <laughs> This is a frizzled rooster. A frizzled rooster. Uh, I've got, in my, as old as I am now, I want to do things that are nice. Some people raise birds and uh -huh. dogs. I'm raising chickens now. Well, that's good. And, and, and there's, a, there's a frizzled rooster club. There's about a thousand members. I so see. I promote that. And what, what do you guys do when you get together? Well, we just, <laughs> we talk about roosters and chickens. This, this one here, <laughs> you this play, one here, his You girlfriend. play with your cocks. I no. know. <laughs> that, no, that's what you call them. That's, that's right. That's what you call a male rooster. Right? That's right. And the I knew that. Oh. I knew that's what you call a male okay. rooster. <laughs> and, it, and his girlfriend's a hen that weighs about 17 pounds. Really? It's amazing to watch him. Ooh, man. <laughs> uh, I will sign me up, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not a, it's not a fight. This stuff, huh? It's not a fight in chicken. No, I wouldn't think so. No, we don't yeah. fight them. Yeah. But, but they're good eating, aren't they? <laughs> no, you don't. This is a frizzle rooster oh, club. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. These I, are bread. I was thinking of the colonel. No. <laughs> Now, now there, there's animals. Where's my frizzle rooster box? I don't know. I don't know. They come in a box? Is that it right there? Yeah, that, yeah right. No, they don't. All right. No, just, I just want to make sure I got just the box. It. Put, it, put it in there, yeah. yeah because it's now, next what, day. I had a bad you... summer. I was raising my chickens this summer, and I rent these chickens for the kids when they come out because I'm only out there three months what out of here. rent chickens? I rent chickens for my grandkids. I rent these chickens. And then the foxes ate my chickens. I had to go back and re-rent chickens and pay the guy for all the chickens. And it was... <laughs> It's complicated, but, but I love chickens. But in the, in, the, in, in the world of chickens, is it better to rent or buy, honestly, strictly well, speaking? That's, that's a very, somebody, you know, people laugh at me. That's somebody just starting out. No, so somebody's starting out. No, you're laughing about that, but if, if you're only around during the summertime, you want to rent your chickens. You want to rent your chickens. Oh, look at this. He's got a fox. Oh, my God. Well, that's, that's exactly what I that, was talking about earlier. You've got chickens and a fox. Yeah, that's why, that's why. That's why. Now, these things are feral. These things are feral, Jack. Be very careful. It's the, mo <laughs> it's the most abundant carnivore in the world. You didn't know that, probably. Make a lovely stole, though. When no, no. You <laughs> the fox is the most abundant carnivore in the world. They live in downtown London. They live all over the place. Really? And, uh, where, and where did you get this one? Now, it looks like he's going to lunge on me. It looks like he's, <laughs> he's ready to lunge. And, and no, no. The fox, you have to be very careful of. You never want a fox as a pet because they carry rabies. I'm not joking about that. They carry oh, the You're not virus. joking about that. Because if you were, that's a hilarious joke. No, it's not. <laughs> but you're not. Okay, you're not the joking about the it. The fox is also one of the most intelligent creatures in the world. Okay, can they be domesticated? I just got to tell you, you don't have his pets. Oh. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> What's the matter with me? I'm a little nervous with <laughs> <laughs> you did. You said that they can't. No, yeah, I don't know. I'm no, sorry, Jack. I'm serious, forgive me. They, they, they're, yeah. they're just a very, they're a very social animal. That's now, a, this fox, you've never seen one of these. There's plenty of them. They're not endangered, those the most, I just The most abundant carnivore. Abundant. Yeah, that you said that, too. <laughs> I, I'm a little nervous when you come out here with the now, wild this, dingoes Dave. and look stuff. Look at this. Yeah. You think that's a chihuahua on that uh, Torito commercial. No, it's not. I know. 
That's a fox. That's the a... world's smallest fox. Yeah. That's full grown. It can hear insects six. It can hear insects. <laughs> it can hear insects six inches in the ground. Wow. What's well, it? The giant ears. Scorpions. Oh, exactly. Yeah, giant ears. Yeah, yeah. Where but, do you, Where do you find that animal? In the Sahara Desert in Africa. Really? Yeah. Wow. Now, now the ears are the ears aren't just for hearing. The ears are also for flying. For, <laughs> the ears, the ears are to coo- an elephant has big ears to keep it cool. The fox has big ears in the desert to keep it cool, like a ah, radiator, yeah, like sure. a radiator. Right, right. So, so they they release uh, heat of the body goes out through the exactly. ears. Exactly, that's right. Yeah. yeah, okay, that's right. That's the, that's the fox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you so mm-hmm. much. Can you make those pets, Jack? No, you can't because they're nocturnal. I, I'm just jerking your chain. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you could have a nocturnal pet. Couldn't you have a nocturnal pet? Well, yeah, you could have a nocturnal pet. My, my uncle is up all night. Well, <laughs> you just wouldn't want a nocturnal pet because they keep you awake all night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, we have time for one more, and then we'll do a commercial. Oh, you do? Yeah, okay, yeah. A... Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. Oh, this is a... This is, a... This is unbelievable. Put it here, buddy. Oh. You won't this believe is a, this. This is a flying porcupine. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Dave, wow, this, this is that. an African porcupine. Now, what yeah. you're going to hear here... Give me a potato real quick. Potato. A yeah. uh, yam here? This yam? A sweet potato, yeah. Okay. There hey, you put are. Him down there, put him down there. There you are. Now, don't, be, let him, don't let him prick your anything. That'll be 250. This is... <laughs> Dave. Ooh, ooh. Dave. Now, you hear that? You hear, hear the rattling? I hear the rattling, yeah. Exactly. That's how, that's how they don't throw their quills. They rattle like that. And the porcupine, it's, it's got one of the longest gestation periods of any mammal in the world. Really? Yeah. How, how long is that? Well, you can imagine a mating's not easy, so it's a long time. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like... It's well, like it's probably two, two different, two different I, I, things. I, I know Jack. what you're saying. I know what you're saying. It's about 280 days. Oh, really? Now, is is he getting ready to shoot a quill? At no, me? I t- I d- no they, they, don't. they don't. They don't shoot quills. They don't shoot. Mm-hmm. What they do is they rattle like he's doing right now right, to scare right. you away. Yeah, and you could never really get near the animal. You're gonna you're gonna touch him, and get stuck. I'm not going to touch him. Right. <laughs> because I'm serious. Once you get stuck, it's like a barb on the end. Well, I won't. I won't, Jack. I won't. I said that once, and I got stuck. Well, I. I... <laughs> but, but what? You... <laughs> What? All right. What? what you, he's making a good time. With you don't it. see it with a naked eye, mm-hmm. but those are barbs under those quills. I'll take your word for it. If, if it sticks in you, and then like, like an animal tries to, let me ask you a question. To, can, can I pet it? <laughs> All right. What you can do is you want to pet him right no, here on the top. It's, it's, you're joking. Those aren't pricky. I, I'm not, are, I don't. You're making me crazy. <laughs> Dave, when they're born, the quills are soft. I know. They get hard they get, within 24 yeah, because hours. because it's a defense mechanism. It exactly. It protects, protects the animal in the wilderness. That's exactly what it does. All right. But well, they're born with soft quills. I know. They're not are. prickly. No, of course. I think you've made that point right. abundantly clear. <laughs> we'll be right back with Jack Hanna, everybody. Short now, yeah, so I got, yeah, I got it. Get your animals uh, in here, here, real season. quick. I got these owls. I want to show you. Oh, look at this. This is now, this is you, you've heard of the wise old owl. Really, yeah. they're not very wise because their brain's about the size of a piece of sand. They're yeah. wise because oh, they tiny, look wise. Any little brain, yeah, they look yeah. wise. This is a spectacle owl. Wow, that's beautiful. What a, what a lovely animal. But why what? do you think they call it spectacles? Be- because of the uh, the eyes the, give it the appearance of wearing glasses, exactly. That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. That, this oh, over here. Yeah. This is Walter Crawford. Where, where, where do we find this owl? Are South America. South, South yeah, America. very, very hard to find this owl. Yeah. Now, this owl is the biggest owl in the world, the oh, largest okay. owl in the world. Uh-huh. Owl is found on every continent except Antarctica. This is a European eagle owl. Look at this. Look at that. Well, now, he can turn his head nearly 360 degrees, can't he? Nearly. If he turned it all the way, it'd fall off. Well, no, I know that. <laughs> but you can't do that. No, you can't but, do that. No. Uh, and th- this is all over, you say, but... Uh, so, European eagle owl, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. They swoop down and, and they, they hunt with echolocation. They could, yeah. Actually, there's a little mouse in this room here. It's all dark and no one else is in here. He could find a mouse in oh, one minute. Mouse, yeah. yep. So they, they keep the uh, balance of nature. Where they keep uh, the rodent population in check exactly. by uh, f- feeding on them, the That's owls. Ex- exactly, the rodents right. and bird, other and, little and birds and birds, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. they don't eat a bird unless they don't get a mouse. That's right. But, their, their preference would be mice. Right, and, the, and their eyesight's incredible as well. Mm-hmm. That Look at that. See how he just swivels his head? Yeah. Head like that? But Walter knows more about owls than anybody. He not, we don't have enough time tonight to tell you everything about okay, them. Okay, well, I'm glad you brought him okay. along then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, this next, this next thing, Jerry, you won't believe this. this. This next animal, a buddy of mine, a buddy of mine in Montana, a buddy of mine in Montana is a, a, buddy of mine in Montana is a midget. And, and, and he has one of these, and he has a little trailer, a little car he rides around in, and he has a little horse. And, that's, and this is a full-grown horse. This isn't a pony. No, it's a full-grown horse. 
I'm not joking around. This is full-grown horse. I, I know. It's a full -grown have you ever seen a horse this big? No, no, I've never had. Well, no. I've, I've seen ponies. No, it's not a pony. It's a horse. <laughs> it's a, it's a full-grown horse. Wow, that's, that's. I think amazing. it's amazing. It is amazing. It really I, is. I mean, this animal is something that only little people would have. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean just you know people that are small, but like. Like these make pretty good pets if you not not if you live in New York City, but if you live like in a, a neighborhood that allowed pets. Uh, right. This is a perfect pet. You know, a lot of people want a horse; they can't keep a right. horse. But this would be ideal for an apartment. <laughs> no, it, I'm not saying if you had a big apartment, but you, you'd, you'd have to have a, a backyard. Uh, I see a backyard. Yeah, they're not litter All right. But it, I, I just love this. Yeah, animal. it's great. Well, Jack, nice to see you again. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, right. Jack Hanna, ladies and gentlemen, from the Columbus Zoo. We'll be right back. Nice. She was lovely. Yeah. You know, we've been we've been trying to have her on the show all the time for like 20 years, and she's uh, you know out of out of the city or something. Yeah, like totally out of town. But, but very nice. Now Jack yeah. Hanna's coming out, and, and he has a he, he what he likes to do is he pairs them off in, in, in natural enemies. Like he'll he'll have like a cobra, yeah. and then he'll bring out a mongoose, and he yeah, he, thinks, he puts them right here on the desk, he and then that's you know cute. and then the fun begins. Oh. But I want to I want to get to that question you had, Paul, which was what about monkeys? What about monkeys? Uh, yeah. Our next guest is Director Emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and the host of his own very popular animal adventure television series. Here's Jungle Jack Hanna. This took a lot of work. I know this doesn't look like it's big, but this, That's cool. this, yeah. this is incredible. I've never had one of these anywhere on any TV. This is a Roadrunner. Oh, is that a, a Roadrunner? Just wait a minute. He'll be back. Uh -huh. This is this is surrogate Roadrunner. This oh, is I thought, the, I'm so dumb. I thought this was also an animal, but it's a little... <laughs> so, so this is... <laughs> you, <laughs> you've got to understand, this is this is the Roadrunner. This is how he's raised with this Roadrunner. This is, a, this is a fake one. This is stuff. Right. And Jack, have you ever thought about just bringing out stuffed animals one night? <laughs> Instead of going to the trouble of the real thing, now, are we done with this? This takes animal? a lot of work. No, we're not done. I'm I not done. Well, you just tossed it on the floor did you, there. No. <laughs> did you ever wonder? Did you ever wonder how a roadrunner got his name? Uh, no. Okay, let me tell you real quick. The roadrunner back before cars, the roadrunner would run after carriages, and the horses would pull the carriage. Mm -hmm. And then at the bathroom, the roadrunner would run after the carriage, eat the flies off the poop, and that's how they called him a roadrunner. Now, the beat, the roadrunner doesn't go beep beep. You, you've seen a cartoon. Yes, beep, I have. Beep. That case is amazing. That came from the little, the little carriage with the little horns going beep, beep. Uh -huh. So when the roadrunner was going beep, 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 that's how the whole thing ah, started. Ah, that's quite a story. You it's spin okay. quite a yarn, Jack. <laughs> These are, look there, this here. What now, are, watch what are those? this. Well, I don't know what those are. Oh, Tell me what they are, and then fake, maybe I'll play it's a, along. It's a fake snake. Oh, it's a fake snake. I can handle just a hold fake those. snake, yeah. Now, okay. now, now, put your snake up here. He's going to beat it. Just put it up here. He's going to beat your snake. Just wait a minute. Put, put, it, her, put it down. Put it, on the, put it on the desk. Now, watch this. Watch this. Watch him. That's how they eat snakes. They, they eat rattlesnakes. Uh -huh. They kill them. Yeah. Shoot. This, this worked all night last night. I, yeah. I know what's wrong. The you were up all night feeding yeah. him fake snakes? No, no. The, the pencil. You, you, oh, the, the pencil, pencil is screwed, screwed it up. Well, let's move on to something else, Jack. That's, that's fascinating. And these are uh, rare. You don't see many of these, do you? That's why I brought him. Uh -huh. it's a, it's a, a roadrunner is an incredible animal. It really is. Yeah. Now, what do you think the roadrunner's enemy is? The, the roadrunner's enemy would be a, a tourists? No. <laughs> Coyote. Coyote. Oh, yeah. You know, what am I thinking? Coyotes, yes. Coyote Roadrunner. Yes. Wally Coyote, right here. Exactly. Oh, see, you did. This is exactly <laughs> what I was talking about. Wow. Hi. Hi, buddy. Okay, dude. But now, does, is he aware that right over there is the, the animal that he likes to eat? <laughs> no, he wouldn't eat him this young. The mother would get the, the mother would get the Roadrunner and feed him to the baby coyote. Uh-huh. This we're not gonna have now, see, this, this reinforces my theory. Uh, you, in two parts, you're either related to dogs or you're related to cats. This is related to a dog. Very good, the canine yeah. family. Yeah, and, 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 and then birds, and strictly speaking, are, are birds animals? Birds, 
it's the animal kingdom. You know that. There's oh, a I bird. Know the animal kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, have the yeah, birds, yeah. the mammals, the reptiles. <laughs> Dave, really simple. Birds, mammals, reptiles, and fish. Right. And then you got the arachnids, insects. Right. But what about monkeys? <laughs> well, monkeys. monkeys. This is a nice big coyote. Now, out west, they call them coyotes. Right. These animals, Dave, are adapting very well to our environment. Right. They're all over the place. They right. come from the west. But all why out west do they call them coyotes, not coyotes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Is a mini bar in the hotel? <laughs> <laughs> Dave. Dave. Oh, good. She's only 18. <laughs> all right. Uh, anyway, Dave, yeah. this, these are foxes and coyotes. I brought, it's a fox, yeah. I brought all this to this, show this you. This smells like a feral beast. That's, a, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Now, smell the fox a minute. All right. No, not that one. He bites. Not that one. This one here. That one here. <laughs> this one here. This one. Now, I'm very serious. You smell it. It's like a sweat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's... See, it's like a skunk. But that's not bad. No, it's not real bad. No. But that's, that's their defense mechanism. But that coyote, Dave, is adapting very well as our fox. Now, does this coyote here know that that's a fox there? No, they wouldn't know that. This young, probably. Uh-huh. So. So this is a fox, and I had all this arranged, and you got it all messed up. Oh, yeah, blame it on me. You're the director emeritus. I, I know. That's why, they, that's why they're not the director anymore. All right, you get it figured out. We'll be right back here with Jack Hanna, everybody. Okay. What do you have there, Jack? All right, look here, Dave. Everybody asks me the difference of crocodile mm -hmm. and alligator, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a crocodile, that's an alligator. I have Three an alligator? Four. You have an alligator. I thought they were larger. Well, they get to be 12 feet. That's a baby alligator. It's a baby alligator. Yeah. Now, this feels very odd because he was struggling moments ago, and it, I was worried that I might be... Uh, no, you can't hurt an alligator. Uh, you can't hurt an alligator? No. This is the most aggressive animal in the world right here, one of the most, the crocodile. Ah. Now, the alligator hunts with vibration. If you're swimming around in the lake, don't do it at nighttime in Florida. Uh, right. Because they, okay. they he, he, uh, hunt by vibration. And they're man-eaters. They, they are. They? They're so, man-eaters. Well, they don't, don't, don't no, 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 they are, no, no, they are man-eaters. Well, they will eat a man, but don't of accuse Of course, them. there, okay. you said right. it. You're right. witness. Okay. <laughs> anyway, real quickly, an alligator... Oh! Go. <laughs> Knock it off. That's it. <laughs> Stop it. Scared the hell out of no, me. No, I'm <laughs> Dave. <laughs> I got it. Look, I got it. Dave, you determine you an alligator's sex. An alligator's sex is determined by the temperature. If, a, if it's real hot inside the egg pile where they lay eggs, it's a, it's a male. If it's cold, it's a female. Mm. Now, grab your hot dog over there. I want to show you this crocodile. I, I, have, a, I, have, an al I have an alligator. No, all right, just... Well, good, you you no. take the alligator. Should I put the alligator down? No, just... Yeah, you better. Where do I put the alligator? He's fine right here. The alligator's fine. Okay. Now, put him right there. That's a boy. Okay. He's fine. Now, give me a hot dog. Okay. <laughs> well, what a coincidence. We have some. Now, don't roll around much. Remember the crocodile alligator did it. Hey, baby, no, no, birdie, Dave. Birdie, Dave, birdie, Dave, birdie Dave. like a hot dog. Dave. Birdie, birdie. Dave. Birdie Dave. like a hot dog. You gotta, you gotta eat hot dogs. What? Put, put your, put your, put your, hot, put your, put your hot dog up here. Put right. your hot dog. All up. right, Jack. Now you're. Hold the end of it. He's very quick. Well, no, you hold it then. <laughs> oh yeah. I practice too much. That's what's we're wrong. We're lucky to Break, be alive. Up the wallabies. <laughs> Thank God for the protective gloves. I'm sure you don't, don't ever mess with a crocodile or alligator. Bir birdie like a hot dog? Birdie? Hot dog for birdie? Never mind. Birdie? Bring the wallabies. Hello. Oh, oh, my gosh. What do we have here? Oh, this is... Oh, my goodness. Well, I don't have no idea what this is. This, this is wallabies. Wow. Right, Julie, this, this and is wallabies they, are what exactly? Are they kangaroos? They are just kangaroos? Just a smaller version smaller, of a kangaroo, right? But the same family, obviously. Same exact family. Well, now, then how old is this? These, 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 they're marsupials. That's right. Which, you know what that means? Born in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> they're born in a pouch. What did I say? A sack, you're right. Anyway, they, when they're born, they come out looking like a little worm. They come out of the birth canal, crawl up on the outside. Right, and, and into the pouch. And, and they grab onto the nipple. Right. And they stay there for 60, or 60, six months. Mm -hmm. And that's where they grow, and they can't let go of that nipple. Now, a, a kangaroo can have three babies at one time. They can have the baby jumping out of the pouch, one going up and getting on the nipple, and then have just made it and have, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's, they have three of them. <laughs> they have three babies Sounds at one like time. like Mardi Gras. No. Now, <laughs> now, listen, Jack, now, will, the, will this wallaby eat a, uh, eat a hot dog? No, they don't eat hot dogs. They don't eat hot dogs? Yeah. Now, is mine an albino wallaby? Yes, you're an albino. Now, now this is a very rare animal, the albino wallaby. Right, and you, you don't make fun of it. I'm not! All right, I just... <laughs> 
I'm telling you this because this animal wouldn't have any chance at all in the wild. Mm -mm. Because, it's white, it, because it's albino and uh, albino pre predators is... Predators would exactly, seek it good. out and eat it. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now... this. Well, but this is a protected animal then, isn't it? You hold it, it'll be all right. Are you, no, <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, right. Yeah, you're right, it's protected species. Yeah, right. okay. Right. Okay, watch this. Well, now, Jack, well, there's no room for more animals. So, I, yeah, I brought this all the way from Texas, from, uh, from okay. Fort Worth Zoo. Right. Well, well, who will take this, my wallaby? Look here, this is a spoonbill. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's a, it's you like just a... hold your wallaby. All right. This is a, a spoonbill. You see that? Look at that. See that beak? Now, a spoonbill goes through the water like this. This is my demonstration. It goes like this and gets all the plankton and everything out of the water like this. Hmm. Like this. Sort of like filters it. Exactly. Uh -huh. Like a flamingo. Yeah. Now, this spoonbill, you see why it's called a spoonbill? I do. Why is that? It's shaped uh, like a spoon. Exactly. <laughs> now, the reason they're pink, the reason they're pink, the, the reason they're pink is because of what they eat. Ah, I bet you didn't know that. No, because I didn't know that. A black bird's born with black bird feathers, a blue bird's blue feathers. This develops as red after it eats the stuff. Uh -huh. are, they, are they going to feed the spoonbill over there? Yes, he's going to feed the spoonbill. Wow. Bring the spoonbill over here and show Dave. G give the spoonbill a wiener. No, you... <laughs> Now, right. Dave, right. they, don't have any, they don't have any hair on their legs because they, they're... Watch. Oh, my toupee. No, watch, watch my toupee. Ah! <laughs> I, just wor I was worried about your stuffed bird. <laughs> You're nuts. You could have grabbed your stuffed bird. <laughs> All right. This is the, the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo, ladies and gentlemen. Jungle Jack Hanna will be right back. That's right. <laughs> well, I enjoyed that. Oh, golly. Our first guest is the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and the host of his own animal adventures program, now beginning its 10th year on television. Here he is, the one, the only, Jungle Jack Hanna. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? Pretty good. How are things at the Columbus Zoo? Oh, still eating and breeding. Yeah, good. I understand that you're uh, now, uh, you've been uh, bestowed some sort of position of uh, honor and importance with the White House, so with the uh, President Bush made you, he's, you're in charge of, uh, what are you in charge of? Not many people know it, but um, it's a National Refuge System 100th anniversary. Oh, well, that's was, good. I'm on a committee to celebrate it. Uh, so we're, we're saving uh, rare and endangered animals? Is what we're right, doing? refuge systems. About, I see. You didn't even know there was a refuge no, system. No, I didn't know that. Not what, many what, people what do. They, what do they do? What is the refuge that's system? That's my job, is to tell people about the refuge mm -hmm. system. Um, <laughs> squirrel, squirrel crapped in my shirt. Mm. Um, but, this is, but this is what we're saving. <laughs> Did you just say a squirrel crapped in my shirt? Yeah. <laughs> But this is, this here, this, this squirrel, this is just not, you know, this is a why, squirrel. Why did you have the squirrel in your shirt, Jack? What was that all about? It's just a little cool out here. <laughs> oh, you're keeping the squirrel warm. My body temperature. Uh -huh. Well, that's, that's very, very paternal of you. Very not, many, not, many, you. not many people would put squirrels in no. their shirt. Well, how about your pants? You ever had a yeah. pants? <laughs> you, know, you know what kind of squirrel this is? That's a uh, black squirrel. No, I knew, that's good. It's a gray squirrel. Because, ah, yeah, see, that's I was exactly. Because in, in color, it's actually. It, you're black, right, because black. most gray squirrels are black. Mm -hmm. Now, I, this is what the book said. They're, they're born black and then they turn gray? No, no, they are black. Ah. So Be it's a, a misnomer, misidentification. Right, but, but the reason is because the black gene, we, the research is that the colder it is, the blacker the squirrel gets up north. And as you right. move south, then the grayer the squirrel gets. I, I have so a question for you. What's the difference between a woodchuck and a marmot? A woodchuck, a woodchuck is a, it's a woodchuck, and then a marmot's in a family that, a marmot's in Montana, and th right. those marmots don't look like woodchucks. They're kind of smaller than a woodchuck. Now, some people probably take an issue to that, but, I, but they're logically similar. speaking, they're similar. They're similar. And a groundhog is a woodchuck? No, a groundhog is, is, is a groundhog. And, you know, God, you know, you, I know these things. I know There's a do. lot of animals. I, I cannot know everything, as you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> you can't possibly be expected to know everything. No. I tell you what, you know a squirrel, Dave, squirrel, 
the squirrel in Latin means tail. It's very important for a squirrel to have a tail because right. it, it guides him through the air when he jumps. It keeps him warm like a coat in the wintertime. Right. Like if you had a tail, you'd keep it warm. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, then, and then also the tail, a predator jumps on the squirrel, grabs his tail, and eats it, and he thinks he's got a squirrel. He grows, right. And then he, the squirrel it grows again. Exactly. Yeah. And okay. what, about, what about the flying squirrel? That's, I know that that's, squirrels actually can, they, they can extend some sort but they of don't fly. subcutaneous it, membrane. It, it, it's subcutaneous, that's or, right. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something else. There's something else coming out here. That's a predator of the squirrel. Right. Oh, right now. Yeah, right oh, now. Okay, let's hurry up so we can get to the dance. No. <laughs> oh my God. See, that's what I said. Predator of the squirrel, natural enemy, and he'll eat the squirrel right here tonight. No, not. I'm, 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 <laughs> and then, and then you'll lose your position with right. the Bush administration. No. no I, <laughs> well, that looks like an ocelot. And uh, no, it's not is, ocelots. They know ocelots. No, it's not ocelots. Oh, you know better. Beautiful. The, Hello, kid. Aren't these are gorgeous? Yeah, they're lovely. Hey, Dave, look at this. This is our veterinarian. We just hired her. Isn't she pretty? She's lovely. I mean, I mean, if you're, I bet your doctor doesn't look that good. Wait, so, you seen my doctor dance? No. All right, but, now what, this, what kind of, now this is a uh, no, member this, of the cat family. Bobcats. This is a, oh, a bobcat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like well, a mountain lion? There, no, mountain lions are bigger. This is the next biggest cat, bobcats. Uh -huh. But it's, it's a kitten right now, isn't it? Yeah, right. Uh -huh. these, these have a story. Oh, a lady right. was turkey hunting in Tennessee, and she shot the mother thinking it was a turkey. Oh, and, that's awful. Right, that's and we were, right, it is. And we're raising these now. It's called Walden's Puddle Rescued them. Mm -hmm. And we're taking care of these now. Oh, that's now. cute, Walden's Puddle? Yeah, I thought yeah, it was. That's cute. Um, anyway, Dave, why are they called a bobcat? Uh -huh. Hold, it just took a crap yeah, I, in my shirt. No, no, he, 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 no, don't even scratch your face. He'll scratch your face. Well, I don't want him scratching my face. But if you're on blood thinners, it'll you know, I'm bleed. I'm not on blood <laughs> uh, Thanks for thinking of me, but, uh, I'm, uh, but okay. I'm not. Okay. But listen, listen. Why are they called a bobcat? Why are they called a bobcat? Because of their bobbed tail. Exactly. That's good. Not All many right. people realize that. That's yeah. exactly what okay. they're called. Now, it looks bobcat. like you've been scratched right there across your He just got me, right? That's yeah. why I just was trying you, to help are you. Are you on blood thinners? No. I, <laughs> I'm not now. I might have to be pretty soon. All right. Okay. All right, well, I think you get an idea how this is going to go. Yeah. We'll be right back with Jungle Jack and everybody. <laughs> All right, Jack, what do we have? Uh, what do we have coming up? Uh, yeah. oh, this, this right here. This right here. This right here, Dave. This is, look at this. This that's, looks like a cow, doesn't it? I know exactly what that is. That's a yak. No, it's not a yak. God, that's, a, that's a yak. A yak is from the mountains of Nepal. This uh -huh. is a this is this is a uh, a water buffalo. Oh my goodness! Go I've, never, I've never seen a water buffalo. Oh yeah. Let him eat your nut here. Get, he, he'll eat nuts. We have. We have uh, <laughs> and this neat day, real beer quick. Beer nuts for the water right. buffalo. You see this cheese? Over, get that cheese real quick. Uh huh. Because I know we haven't got much time. This right. cheese, this mozzarella cheese, the fi you get your pizza next time you get a pizza. Right. Think of this animal right here. Okay, the I finest will. mozzarella cheese in the well, world. It, it is manufactured from the milk of this animal. Exactly. I right didn't. There. I didn't know that. How many people do? Well, I th uh, now th this, this, will, will the will the yak eat the, the cheese or not? Uh, he milk. Dave, he doesn't eat cheese. He makes the cheese through his milk. <laughs> I, I, under I understand that, but I was just curious. Would, would, the, would, the, would he eat the cheese? I never tried to feed him. It's like feeding yourself to yourself. I, I, I mean, let's, you know, let's see if he'll try it. You want to try it? Uh, he may flip out. You, th you think the water buffalo is going to flip out? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they, they call him a water buffalo because they live in the water. In, That's pretty in, good. In, in reeds among bamboo uh, exactly. reeds? Exactly. Yeah. The reason is they don't have sweat glands. Mm. They, the, they like you you cool, sweat through your armpits? Yeah, yeah. Or he ain't got any armpits, so he sweats in the water. Thank you. That, that's my water that's, buffalo. That's it? We didn't get to feed him or anything. Well, I thought you said there'd be rides. You told me no, we could ride no, him. <laughs> you the, said we were going to ride the water buffalo. No, the oh, look out, a gator. You got a gator there. Oh, this, look this, out, Jack. That's not a gator. That's a gator, they, they, Jack. This, this look look, don't screw around. I'm not screwing around. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a, it's a, Give me the hot dog. A, Give me the hot dog. Oh. Give me the hot dog. That thing is going to lunge on you, Jack. <laughs> Just give me the hot dog. I Hurry will. up. Dave, I'm No serious. sudden movements, all right? <laughs> Let him start with Dave, the cheese. Dave, don't start with him it. on the cheese. Dave, knock it off. Don't give me a hot dog. I got Not, one too, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Let's go. No, Dave, you don't do that. Dave. Dave. Now I see you've got him all upset. What? What, what is that? Now, watch exactly. this. All right, this is a Nile monitor, like a Komodo dragon. What they do, oh. Dave, they, now what he's doing now, he's, when, he, when they get alarmed, they, they, pray, they scare their prey off by puffing up. They go, yeah. I can hear it. He's, yes. 
<laughs> don't jump like that. Don't jump. <laughs> Scare me. Just, if you, don't make me jump. You sissy. <laughs> but that's amazing, isn't it? Now, now what, would he, what would he attack in, in the wilderness when like, he was in it? What like would things he... three times bigger than him. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, this next animal I have is fast. Are we done? He didn't eat the, the hot dog. Because you scared him with it. Just well, leave him alone. See if he'll just eat a little hot dog. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Oh, wow, we. Maybe. I tell you what. Just leave. Just get the thing out of here. If you maybe. A... God, that was that was scary, huh? You got. You Dave, this what? next thing, Dave. This next bird. He's, if this, you had, if you had broken them up eat. like this and put a little toothpick in each one. <laughs> I think it would have been. No, you, I, Dave, Dave, you, you might be right. <laughs> it's the first time tonight. Oh, oh I think no. we're finished. I think. We're oh, finished. oh shoot! What's the matter? What's the matter? I had this bird catch his meat in midair. Oh, we'll bring the bird out for heaven's sake. Real quickly, bring the bird out real quickly. It won't take a second, I swear. Right. What, what, what kind of meat you want here, Jack? Okay. Um, damn. Uh, we just have this. this bring meat the meat. Out. Here, give me your meat. Uh -huh. Dave, take your meat. Take your meat and throw it in the air. Which... Or I'll throw my meat in the air. You throw yours first. I don't, all right. Throw this, just go right up. I've got 10 feet. Okay. Go right above right me. Right above feet. me? Yeah. No, just do it. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Just one more, just one more time. <laughs> Dave. Okay, I got it. Here, here, here's the meat. Here's the meat. Here's the meat. Now, one more time. I swear to God, it'll work. I... Maybe if you just put a little toothpick in each hunk of the meat. Whoa, this, this whoa, is a Harris hawk, Dave. He, whoa. Catches, he catches meat in midair. What kind of bird is it? A Dave? Harris hawk. Watch this. Oh, look, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's amazing. You're right into the thing. Jungle Jack Hanna, everybody. We'll be right back. Thanks, Jack. Good to see you. Here's who we have on the uh, program tonight, a lovely, uh, a lovely, a lovely woman, uh, a fine actress, Reese Witherspoon. Oh, boy. You don't talk no lovelier. Reese Witherspoon. Hardly wait. India Ari. They don't come any India better. India Ari. India Ari. Ah, this is a great show. We have uh, also, you know, uh, this weekend in Indianapolis is the United States uh, Grand Prix, and we have uh, from Formula One, uh, the guy who's probably the, the fastest driver in Formula One today, Juan Pablo Montoya. Ah, Juan Pablo, Juan Pablo Montoya. And if you know anything about uh, motorsports or if you know anything about Juan Pablo Montoya, you know that there's been a, an increasing amount of speculation that Juan Pablo Montoya may actually be Zorro. <laughs> I just want to tell you one thing. If my name were Juan Pablo Montoya, everybody could kiss my ass. You know what I'm saying? Why do I ever know what you're saying? What? Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> How come I'm not Juan Pablo Montoya? What are you doing? I don't know. I'll play so softly. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> so that's the uh, program for you tonight. Now, last night on the show, we had uh, uh, Jack Hanna, who is the uh, director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo. And when Jack is on, he brings uh, animals. And, and there's usually some uh, level of mayhem or bedlam because the animals are not compatible and often are natural enemies. And they, they're... <laughs> They're frightened, and there's usually bloodshed and, and bad meat. The, the meat that he brings is like, uh, turned. It's one bed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what happened last night? We had a hawk. It was called a Harris hawk, and it got frightened, and it flew up into the, uh, the, the upstairs. In fact, here, roll the tape, and we'll show you the hawk. This is the hawk. There, there he was. And we couldn't get him down. We couldn't get the hawk down until much later after the show was done. They finally were able. To, well, we found out earlier today that one of Jack's uh, handlers also during the program became frightened. What? That's right. And, and ran up into the, uh, up, in fact, he's, is he, I think he's still up there. Is, there, can you see him? He's with Jack Hanna, but he's... He's still up there. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, we, we think he'll come down when he gets hungry. 
<laughs> I'm sure he will. Yeah. I hate it when he's up there. I always think he's going to fly down, though. Uh -huh. I sit on my head and pick my eyes. Yeah. This guy will, too. Yeah, he's fine. That's sad, right. yeah. Yeah, he won't hurt. Juan Pablo Montoya. <laughs> What's with him tonight? Can't, he just he usually you, plays so loud. Try to control your I band, please. Try. We're going to send Chuck Barris over to Starbucks. <clears throat> Our next guest is the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo, which means they won't let him near the animals, and the host of his own very popular Animal Adventures television series. Here's the one, the only, Jungle Jack Hanna, everybody. Thanksgiving. Thank Welcome to the program. I know exactly what that is. That's an albino skunk. No, it's a chocolate skunk. A chocolate skunk. Yeah, you can see the chocolate in it. Oh, well, a little, little dark coloration yeah. there? But it's, it's more light than uh, dark, I would, I would think. Well, it is, but this is a chocolate skunk. Uh, Most of them you think are black and white, right? Yes, you do. Right. What they do, a skunk, you know what a skunk does when it gets alarmed? He, he sprays that uh, right. very dense smelling thing. You can smell, smell it. Well, I don't care to. No, you don't. <laughs> and they raise their tail and it hits their anal glands. They usually shoot, oh. they usually shoot right, <laughs> they usually shoot right for the face, and it's amazing how those glands can squeeze together. Can you mm -hmm. imagine this? And go about 15, 20 feet. Yeah. But you know, now, now when, I, when I had a dog, my dog got sprayed, and it's not, it's not the worst smell you've ever uh, experienced, but it's the most smell you've ever experienced. <laughs> it's very, very dense, and it won't go away. I've never thought of it that way. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what Where it was this animal from? It's from the zoo. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> from the stuff that, yeah. Good. Chocolate skunk. But, never but seen one One last thing. Yes? Skunks cause more rabies than two-thirds ah. carry rabies. So you, you have to be very careful. When you hold it. That's right. And, you and, go ahead and touch it if you never touch no, it. No, no, I, I don't need to. You won't get rabies. I don't care. Now, what are the symptoms of a rabid skunk? Well, it's kind of lethargic, something like this one is. And it, and it, <laughs> and it, but it, I'm just, this one's just... But it, Did you it, get a deal on that skunk, no, Jack? No. And then sometimes he'll foam a little bit. Foam a little bit? And just act, act wacky. Just yeah, and it, wacky. it attacks their inner ear and they, yeah, they exactly. whirl. It's they exactly, whirl around exactly, in circles. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Now, this next animal lives with a skunk. All right, next animal lives with a skunk. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't live with them. Well, Jack, why don't you get rid of the skunk before we... Right. Thank you very much. This is beautiful. The regular Siegfried and Roy, ain't he? Oh, my God, Jack, what have you done now? Good what? God almighty. Isn't that nice? Holy cow. That's a Look bear. That. Yes. <laughs> It's a bear. It's a black bear. Yep, it's a black bear. Whoa, where did you get the black bear? This, this is a black bear. Now, usually they're asleep this time of year. Mm -hmm, they're but, hibernating? Yeah, but this is a zoological bear, mm -hmm. so he's not really sleeping right now. Now, this bear can grow, <laughs> this bear, this bear can grow to be about 250 pounds, 300 pounds, but not, a lot of people know how fast a bear can run. Mm -hmm. You know this. Yeah. A bear can run, a grizzly bear can run a football field in six seconds. That's 100 yards, right? Fast as a horse, pretty much, right? I never clocked a horse, but I know how much the bear does. <laughs> The bear does it in six seconds. Six the black seconds. bear, about 10 to 12 seconds. Uh -huh. Now, how is it that you have the black bear in the zoo? Is there a story behind that, Jack? Yes. Um, what, this, bear, <laughs> this bear came out of the Ocala Forest mm -hmm. and went down to his place where he lives. I see. Uh, but who, who, who is that? This is my friend from Florida. Hi, how are you? <laughs> but he raises this bear. Uh -huh. now, this is a nice bear. He's going to get up and show you how he climbs. Okay. Let's see if you'll climb. Get, get his walnuts. So, so, Jack, any of your friends that have animals, <laughs> you just invite them up to the show. Is that how it works? Exactly. There he goes. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, boy, that's a beautiful animal. I'm no, just going to... Boy, that's a lovely... You can stand up there, Dave. Okay, I'll stand right here. You know what we need, Dave? I wonder if this bear could hail a cab. No. <laughs> you know what we need, Dave? What is that? We need some honey. Honey. I should have thought of that. Usually I think of these things, but didn't think of it tonight. <laughs> okay. All right, so now... No, no, come here. Come here. Is there get, something... Get your nuts. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. This is not bad for a bear day. I bet you've never seen a bear work like this. No, I never ever. never really have, Jack. Nope. Now, may I touch the, the animal? Yeah, if you're, you, you're, touch him. Feel how coarse he is. Oh, my God. Now, this, is, this is beautiful. Now, that way back, they, they shared a branch with the canine family, don't they? Exactly right. Ur, ur, it's the Ursa, Ursa, Ursa family. Yeah, that's but right. But bears, Jave, a lot of people kill bears for their gallbladders mm -hmm. and for their parts, which yeah. you shouldn't do. No. They still hunt the black bear. Hi. Now, will he lash out? No. Okay. No. We have to no. do a commercial. We'll be right back. No. Oh, here's the honey. Bring in the honey. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you got honey. We'll, oh, gosh. We'll be, this we'll is neat. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> now, watch his tongue. 
you, see, see what happens is this it's like bear my uncle on New Year's Day. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back with Jack Kenna. And you have something there in the cooler. Yeah, you probably think this is supposed to be cool, but this, these animals are actually been on a heating pad. Feel that. Now, look at this. This has never been on TV before. Oh, it's like a little incubator there for them. Right. Look at this. I've never Hold seen one anything these. like Hold that. These. Never. Look at this. These are naked mole rats. <laughs> the, the, I, know, I know they're naked laughing. Color. Yeah. I know they're laughing. Naked, funny. naked mole rats is yeah. what you're saying? Naked. I'm sorry, naked. Yeah. Naked. Hold it with two hands, Dave. Oh, these wow. are rare. Uh -uh. I'm not some bad gun. Now, what, wow. Dave, what remember, makes them rare? The fact that they're just hairless? Is no, that... it's not what's rare. Listen to this. These are the only mammal that lives in colonies, the only mammal in the world. Look at all these mole rats. Look at this. This is a colony of 25 naked mole rats, all right? Oh, they live underground. They're blind. They're blind. Not, not because they're, you know, they're blind, but they're, right. they're blind all the time. Did you get these out of Rupert G's Hello Deli? Is that where they're from? No, no. Dave, you've got to understand something. These animals, there's a queen and king mole rat, the only ones that breed. Then you have worker mole rats right. and then army mole rats. Hmm. And then all the mole rats go to the bathroom in the same little tunnel. They don't, they don't defecate just like where they are. Okay, I'm going to put mine away. No. I just want to put mine back in there. Dave, oh, Dave, Dave can you pick out, the, pick out the king mole rat? There he is right there. No, he's right here. How do you know? Because he's bigger. Oh, this big, one's bigger. Yeah, they have the two little teeth in but front. But you know, there. you're right, though. You are close. He's almost like that one. Wow, that's yeah. fascinating. This Jack. is amazing, though, and, isn't it? And where do we find these in, in Africa? In Africa. Got any Dave Woods from Mill Mountain Zoo. He first one to bring these in the country. He breeds them in his basement. Boy, oh, boy. They, they don't drink any water. They only, they only sometimes eat each other, and they breed every 80 days. And, and is, is this a species necessary? There, <laughs> every... Every species is, you know that every species is Well, I, I know, but I, I, I didn't mean that as it sounded. I meant, I meant what, what do they provide in the they, global uh, ecological sense? Well, they underground, they eat a lot of roots, if that helps. Ah. Um, I don't know if that helps or not. But, no, I think but, it must help. Yeah. Keeps and, the roots down. Keep the roots down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that is a good question. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask Dave. He's, all right, you ask while, Dave. While we have naked mole rats. Okay, all right. That now, is something. You, you're the well, first I mean, show you, you could ask uh, any, uh, that about any animal, really, because yeah, it's endless almost. The it is endless. Why, you know, why is anybody here, right? Why yeah, is a exactly. worm here? That's, Who cares? That's what I was getting to. A lot of people don't yeah. care. But I, I hope you appreciate it. This is I the do, first time I do. I thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, we, we have now, something else? Yes, we do. I'm sorry. Just wait a minute second now. Wait a minute. This is something, Dave. Okay. A lot of people heard about something bad. Well, you think it's bad, probably. All right. It's a rattlesnake. Oh, I, yeah, I'm, ner I'm nervous about snakes. Well, I'm not going to put what, him on your desk. Well, no, where should I go? Now, Whoa. listen. Now, listen to that. Well, see, now, that's, that's all you need to know right there. Now, what, Dave? Now, Dave, this, wow. is, an eastern ra this is an eastern rattles. Or is it western? This is it eastern? Where, where do you find those? Western Diamondback. Do you know the difference in eastern and western? No, I sure don't. Well, yeah, one lives uh, in this part of the country, and then one lives out in the desert. <laughs> Dave, come here, hold this. Hold this balloon. Now, act like it's a, like a rat or a mouse. Well, I don't. What are we doing wrong? Get right up close to him. Dude. I'd rather not, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Gosh. Jack, wait, I've got my other balloon fell off. Wait a minute, Dave. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh Jack. Oh. Whoa, Here, that was something. Wasn't well, that something? That's cool. God. It scared you? Oh, man. It scared the fire out of me. Oh. Look at them me. shaved hamsters you had here a minute what? ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do, do another one. I'm Look. trying. I'm trying. Act like you did a better job than me. Oh. Oh. Just don't make me jump like that. Now, this is how people get hurt. This, I just, is, is that I think amazing? we've had what? enough fun Dave, with the balloons. Put, Dave. Put away the balloons. Dave, Dave. You're going to piss him off, no, Jack. No, no. <laughs> Dave, what you want to, what you want to be, Dave. Him with, I think it's time for him to go no. back in the box. What, what? Dave, a rattlesnake, a rattlesnake. Is oh, not, my God. Stop that. No, listen to what I'm trying to All right. <laughs> tell you. My nerves are shot. Dave. Dave, the rattle. Go ahead and put him in the box. Put him back in the box. Put him, put him back in the box. Yeah. He, doesn't, he doesn't hear very well. well who doesn't hear well? Tom. Oh, Tom. <laughs> no, Tom doesn't no. hear very no, well. No. <laughs> no, anyway. All right, we got to go. No, I know you do. But the rattles what make people get away from you. Don't go. Well, get you look at me. It worked. 
Jack, nice job. Happy Thank Thanksgiving. Good to see you. We'll be right back, everybody. Something, wasn't it? That was oh, scary. Oh, my God. My thanks to Jungle Jack Hanna and uh, George Clooney tomorrow. Ray Romano and Jurassic 5 have a lovely evening. Good night, everyone. Hey.